flasks or whatever, and I can let you try it out. It's definitely... What? Um, oh, and I discovered something else for us. Just in the future, if you ever visit the Alchemist, this is, you never did this, I'm just saying, just so you know. If you ever visit the Alchemist, never under any circumstance. Bitch is wild with how much she wants to escape. It is crazy. I'm like... Yeah, okay. Well, never under any circumstances. Open the door to the alchemist's room, basically. Because she's crazy. Uh, she's crazy because she will run and run and run. What I mean by that is, you know how NPCs wander and they walk around or whatever? She doesn't stop walking. When you open the door, she will continue to walk. She will continue to walk for days, months, until she hits the ocean. I kid you not, I followed her all the way to the ocean. She, she does not stop moving, and it's annoying. Okay, Ross, I've got the th thing. All right, all you need to do is... I don't know, but she will continue to move in a desperate flee once she gets moving. I don't know. Here, while, while she's doing that, you can try out the support flask. Alright, you need that, and that. So all you need to do is fire with the basic sprayer that- the thing. There you go. That's what it does. <laughs> I discovered this, and it was the- my most favorite thing I, I discovered off screen was that it- That's all it does. Literally no support benefit. That is all it does. It's hurt you. Toss me back the sprayer now. You can keep you can keep those support flasks. They're really good. <laughs> I also discovered, you know that nitro item that she sells? Never buy it. It doesn't do anything. It actually breaks your alchemical weapons. It's actually funny that it does that. When you buy the nitro and equip it, your alchemical weapons no longer deal any damage. It's fun. I think that I actually fixed her, and that's kind of funny to me. The way that I fixed her is I added a little ditch in uh, the right side of her house that she gets stuck on, which I think fixed her so that she doesn't run all over the place. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, but they don't heal. We just we tested that last time. No, they don't hurt things, I don't think. I mean, there is- there is- there is a healing flask that you can shoot, that's what I'm shooting right now, with this basic sprayer. And what it does is it deals damage and then heals you for the damage that it deals, kind of. So, like, if I do that, it hurts things. The head thing? Right, I can make that. I'm pretty sure Tremor is just like a super glitched mod, if I'm being honest. Because <laughs> all that chemical stuff, all Tremor. So, anywho. It's the head, specifically, correct? It's the one you're looking for, the headpiece? Perfect. Alright. Get back here. The fuck did you walk off to? Yeah, get back over here so I can toss it to you. There you go. Right it's right there in front of me. Right there.
I already had a mining helmet. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm also wearing the armor, so technically speaking, it's just helping ourselves. Yeah, well, it might be double, actually. Might be. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I'm pretty- I feel really quick, so... Helps my movement speed. I mean, I'm not wearing the Hermes boots, so that's- it's noticeable for me. The Hermes boots basically seem to nullify your speed boosts. They don't, but it looks like they do. Because of the way they work. Um... Um. All right, now I'm now I'm the special kid with my red balloon again. Whee! Red balloon! Ah, good for you. I don't even think I have my like, bug net on me. No, not right now. <laughs> Hey, Ross, I'm gonna open some thorium ore bags. Yep, some thorium ore. Good. Because I, I've... In this very world, I've gotten things other than thorium ore. A couple times. Like, maybe twice. Ever. Look. With... With small chance of being... I mean... You you don't under you don't understand. Small chance means like basically negative one. Um, you don't you don't understand. It's special, specially designed just for you, so it doesn't work. Um, Well, if you combine it with one of the boomsticks we have, then you can have a flare shotgun. <laughs> Which is just a stupid concept. I mean, you have two boomsticks, I believe. Uh, I don't think you need the tinker table for it. Yeah, this boomstick right here. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, the one that's already got enchantment is better. Alright. I'm not actually 100% sure how that works, because I don't know what mod that's from. So, it might not shoot flares, it might just be a fiery shotgun, which is also cool. But... What is it called? The item? Just, like... Firestorm Cannon? Now, what is it? The Doomstick is what it is. Doomstick... What is it? Okay. Okay, so how it works is if you left click, you will shoot a single flare, and right clicking will shoot a shotgun of flares. Yeah, that just sounds kind of beast. Well, if you want victory shards, we know a good friend that will give you victory shards. You fought him many times in the depths of the desert. He's a he's a good pal of ours. Actually, we have 21 victory shards, so you're fine. And we have enough gold, too. So there's really no problem. But, you know. Yep, steal all the items that I... <laughs> put away <laughs> for us. <laughs> Most of the stuff in that chest is actually mine. <laughs> well, Ethan didn't put a damn thing in there. 
I know that. He has his own, like, he put everything in his piggy bank. And he has admitted to that, so... Yeah. It, it is pretty neat. You don't want to bake it, though. If you think that the other instruments are annoying, that thing's more annoying. <laughs> and if you left quick, it's just a normal flare gun, I think. <laughs> God, that might actually be, like, almost sand gun levels of annoying, eventually. That's stupid. What is this ridic- why is that? Why can't you throw down that many? Jesus. It also deals damage, like... It... Oh. Oh yeah, you spawn too many, so they just disappear. That's kind of funny. I think it's just on the right click. I think if you left click, it doesn't normally. No. It's a... Okay, it's a, it is a weapon, not a... No. So they seem to they seem to exist for a random amount of time, to be honest. I mean that's that's not it's not it's not really that big a deal though, because I mean even ignoring the ammo costs, you don't need the flares for that long. They disappear anyway, eventually, so... The entire point is just to toss them out so you can see what's going on in the cave, and then move on. So... It's whatever. It might be replaced by, um... Whenever we get around to defeating the Queen Jellyfish, which is actually pretty soon, in theory. Um... Because she drops an item that is infinite glow sticks. <laughs> I know that seems stupid, but... It's, it's vastly useful. It's amazing. Um, you just... It's, I think it's called the pink glow stick or some shit. I don't know. All it does is it tosses a, It uses 20 mana to toss down a glow stick on the ground. And the glow stick just exists. Pretty good shit. It, well, yeah, I would expect it. It's an upgrade to the boomstick as well as the flare gun, so it's supposed to deal more damage than the boomstick does, thus... It would deal pretty good damage, because the boomstick is pretty good damage at this point in the game. I mean, it's going to be vastly outclassed in damage rather soon, but... For now, it actually should remain pretty solid. I mean, to be fair, I didn't use my flare guns much ever anyway when I had them, but that, but I think you did, so. I mean, it is. It's basically you shoot torches from afar, which is just excellent. But... What color? The ice stuff. Yeah, the Hydro Pickaxe, is that, that's the one you have, right? The one that's just an amazing upgrade to the Nightmare one, but it doesn't... Still can't do it. Shame. Uh, da -da 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 be an interesting enchantment to have on accessories. It would probably be overpowered and be grinded for it to shit because it just seems so OP. But I think it would be interesting. Um, is a enchantment that uh, gives you an extra minion. Just one max minion extra. I think that would be interesting. Because I mean there's no there's no enchantments for summoners. 
if I think about it. Like, all the enchantments are, like, plus range damage, plus melee damage, you know, shit like that. And I'm like, there's not really one person. Yeah, I know, but that'd be so lame, because minion, plus minion damage doesn't change anything. Plus, minion summoning what? Oh god. Oh god, that would be the worst. I was about to say, I thought that you were going to say something like, um, minus minion summoning cost, and I was like, yeah, because they're so expensive to summon. Man, I'm just eating through my mana, summoning two minions. Oh. You know, Ross, you'll be very excited to know that once we enter hard mode, there's no more Wolfram enemies at all. Yeah, that is the key thing, is that hard mode gets rid of those fuckers. Instead, they're... Yeah, instead they're replaced by extra turtles and extra nonsense that nobody really wants to deal with anyway. It's actually probably a lot worse. Um, but at least you don't have to deal with that. Good. Got, yeah, there's actually three, and they aren't an archetype. <laughs> like, alright, one of them is in an archetype, but doesn't function without the rest of the cards in said archetype. Um, so here, you have Catapult Turtle. Catapult Turtle, you can probably make a deck around if you abuse minions that summon other minions. Or, well, monsters, whatever. Because the entire draw of Catapult Turtle is that you need to somehow manage to be sacrificing your monsters every turn. And still have a monster on the field that's decent. And Catapult Turtle is not that decent monster. <laughs> I, I would struggle to come up with a good way to make a Catapult Turtle deck, but I suppose it's technically possible. I see here. Yeah. Um... Let's see here. There's... I could probably abuse a wild monster up here, as that card is pretty fucking OP. Yeah, that would actually work, because wild monster appears has a pretty decent drawback for the fact that basically you can summon a uh, level 10 or higher monster, ignoring summoning conditions. So even if it says cannot be summoned by other ways, uh, you can summon it. Uh, but its drawback is that they get destroyed during the end phase. But that's fine. So I could just run a bunch of... Um, like, really powerful shit, and use, uh, Wild Monster appears to save my ass. <laughs> it's technically possible. Probably still wouldn't be good, but... I mean, you could talk about, uh, summoning What's-Its-Face. There's that one Sky Train that I don't add to my train deck because it's fucking awful. Um, that's 5,000-5,000. It's awful for the fact that it's like, literally, it has the worst effect I think I've seen on any card. It takes, you need to destroy everything on your field and in your hand to summon it, pay half your life points in addition to all that, and then, once it's on the field, it, uh, cannot, what is it? I don't think it can attack unless certain conditions are met. Even then, it's very limited. I don't think it can attack somebody's life points directly. Um, let's see here. What other weaknesses does it come with? Oh yeah, it's... Well, no. Here's the other fun thing. It gets destroyed during your end phase. I'm not kidding. That's one of its effects. The turn this card is summoned, it gets destroyed during your end phase. Why would I want to pay all that nonsense 
and then not even get anything out of it. That's stupid. Oh, I've seen the select usage. It was used in the show. In the show, we used it in a really overpowered way. I was very uncomfortable with how overpowered it. They made it seem in the show, even though it is not anywhere near that. In reality, I was not very happy that... Uh, let's see. I just want to see what the fuck this thing's awful effect is. All I remember is that it's like the worst thing ever. Sky Train, UVO. I don't know what it's called. Uh, that was right. What the hell is this thing's name? Okay. Train Yu-Gi-Oh! So I can see what all the train monsters are. Railway. Uh, I know it's in the members of it. Railway. Give me... Rocket Arrow Express, that's what it's called. All right, Rocket Arrow Express. Your effect is... Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon your hand by controlling no cards and cannot be special summoned by other ways. You cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you special summon this card. You cannot affect cards or effects or set any cards. During each of your standby phases, destroy this card unless you send your entire hand to the grave card. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you can summon it if you have no cards. You cannot conduct the battle phase during the turn you summon it. You cannot activate cards or effects, or set any cards. And, unless you discard your entire hand, you lose it at the end of your turn. I don't know when all those conditions are going to be met. I mean, I get... But no, you'd still have a spell and trap card just like chilling on your field. That always happens. There's always that trap card that you can't just can't activate. You set it and the condition just wasn't ever met. <laughs> yeah, you have to run only trap cards that can be activated without any conditions. Which Yeah. Well, no, even that one requires a condition, I think, because I think a trap card needs to be activated for that to work. Uh, so, uh, good luck with your Jars of Greed, not Pot of Greed, Jar of Greed, because that can be activated at any time. <sighs> what other trap cards are there? Royal Tribute! Yeah! Well, Royal Decree, sorry. You can activate that anytime. It just sticks on your field, so you still have a problem. Rocket Arrow Express, I think, is the type of card that you give to your opponent, and then they just go, Yeah, but I just... I'll just let it get destroyed, dude. <laughs> I think the card would be funny if it's text read, um, Give this card to your opponent. <laughs> It really, you, you really could be. By the point that you are summoning Rocket Arrow Express, <laughs> I don't, I don't see a situation. Because you can't even play any cards, so it's not like you could go, alright, Sky Arrow Express, and then follow it up with, um, like, what was it, the one rail card that can only be summoned if you control a level 10 monster. It's the one that I've used in order to get Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. But anyway. Uh, no. Well, the spiders also use it. But, um, it was one of the... No, not Night Night. Night Night I used for the basic things. This one was, um... It only worked when you special summon a level 10. No. That's one of the XCs. This is a normal monster. Well, not normal. Effect monster. Uh... It's like some super, super cargo freight train, some shit like that. I don't remember. I don't, it was dumb. Um, 
And it's literally the only reason you could ever summon Super Galaxy Robot Galaxy Destroyer, because it's just there's no other way to get uh, three level tens on the board really consistently. So three level tens is pretty much impossible. That's why Super Dimension Robot Galaxy Destroyer is so fucking OP. It's cause outside of trains, I don't even know if it's possible <laughs> to pull that off. Trains just cheats out the three level tens, but I mean, if you had to summon those level tens legitimately, I don't, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty bad. The card is actually genuinely a bad card. It just only works in trains. So like in trains, it's really good, but outside of trains, it's fucking worthless because you could never ever play it. Oh, by the way, technically speaking, uh, we could craft wings now. It's not worth it, but you could. No, no, no. Yeah, they'd be about as good as the uh, jetpack boots, basically. Um, they don't even protect you from fall damage, I'm pretty sure. So they'd be literally just jetpack boots <laughs> at this stage, but you could make them if that was your forte. But you know where you need to get them from? Go kill Harpy! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, there is... In the chest of building materials, there is the, um, what's its face? The oriental, like, Chinese wood that you wanted me to buy for you? Not that you would. The, uh, stuff that the traveling merchant sells. China, China wood. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. Um, I think it's the closest one to Ethan's chest, which is the one to the far left. Blood Moon. Okay, I'm coming back up. I'm coming back up because I. Yeah, well, I I want to do a Blood Moon because there's a lot of shit that only drops during a Blood Moon. So I was like, I'm fucking waiting for one of these. God, these frickin' tree spirits, though, I hate them so much. Ah, oh, there he is. Perfect. Patchwork. Patchwork has been removed from the world. That was actually really quick that we got Patchwork. Cool, yeah. The boss of the Blood I just casually soloed him. <laughs> um, he is an act- he's a mini-boss, not a boss, but... Uh, he exists. The reason why I wanted to kill him is because he drops two spell books when you kill him. Um, one of- Yeah, I mean, there's a support one in here. It's called the Good Book. The evil book is called the Grave Buster, which summons a bunch of skeletal hands from the ground, I think. So you're like, alright, so th this is what the Grave Buster does. Does that. Whee! Hands! Yeah! And then the good book casts solid healing. The good book is technically, like, better than anything you have to deal right now. It's also nothing to write home about, either. Because the game would have expected us to have had multiple blood moons by this stage. So. What are these dripping roots? I've gotten two of them now. What are these do? Materials. Oh, oh. Find out later. Okay, good. What's this? Undead musketeer. Found. Fancy man. Do, do the flares hurt them when they're just on the ground, or...? I mean, it might deal like one damage. 
I'm just curious if that's like even a thing. Yeah, get somebody with like a lot of health, honestly. I need to use my slime pump. Another tiny side? Yeah. Sounds like fun. Chef, go back home. What's wrong with you? You're ruining the mob spawns with all these flares. <laughs> like, they can't spawn. The mobs can't even spawn because of how many goddamn flares. <laughs> they're spawning a little bit, but they're spawning less frequently. Um... Alpha Claws are just, you don't even need a button for that, that's the thing there. good that you don't even like listen to the random things I hum to myself because the lyrics I just said are genuinely like really fucked up weird lyrics. Uh, I was singing a uh, song uh, called Carrot for a Cock. YouTube appropriate. Kind of is. Kind of is. It's uh... Well, it's YouTube appropriate somewhat, I say, because it is made by, made by the Yogg's cast, which doesn't necessarily enforce it, but they are a somewhat child-friendly channel, so... The good book! That thing is, like, kind of garbage, actually. <laughs> Whee! Good luck! Yeah, it takes two full mana bars to do that, though. That's slightly sad. What the fuck is that? One Moon Warrior, fancy. I'm getting plenty of, uh, 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 thorium bags. Torn Papyrus is actually good for shit. I don't remember what, but I remember it's good for shit, so. That's actually really unfortunate. Well, you say he'll be back, but then there's also the chance that he gets replaced by some other stupid NPC. <laughs> Which is not the type of chance you'd like to take, if possible, um, with the guide specifically. Uh, some enemies out. Uh, well, don't don't stick him on a sky island. That creates a whole other issue. I want that an underground is your way to go. Realistically. You just you put him in like a room underground, the enemies just don't get in. Can't do that until we get until we defeat Skeletron with the mechanic. Actually no, until we're in hard mode and get the steam pump. It's teleporter that is the steam pump inside of it, so. There we go. I'm gonna be here a little bit. There's like multiple blood drenched jag daggers. I don't know if you grabbed one of those, but those are actually probably decent for you. Because they make it so that there's like a good chance to get uh, blood off of enemies that you kill. 
and that should be useful for the various crafting shit. I don't even know if you're actually going full blown Neo, or it's just that if you're considering it, it's worth having one. What? Yeah, well, I'm. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much American classic too. I pretty much stopped using my uh, <laughs> music weapons because they're kind of outclassed at this point, but. Now I'm using my uh, spell tomes. But... I don't mind having some healing spells on me either. Healing spells are actually pretty sick to have uh, in a boss fight. I think I think that everybody should have a couple hits of healing for the fact that we're in a boss fight, somebody's about to die. It's good to be able to save them. Not that of course they will, but you know, I try my best to mind people's health. Those guys are just obnoxious, because they have an excessive amount of health for no reason. <laughs> I don't like them. The stupid OP, um... Spam? Yeah. Tornado spam? kinds of weird things here. I- hold on, did I get a full st okay, it was- okay, the full stack of Unholy Shards is only 99, but I did full stack on Unholy Shards. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I was just wondering if I did that. There's actually a lot more just lying around, too. I just didn't notice until now that I hadn't actually been picking it up for a while. Nope! I was gonna consult the guide about that. We'll have to wait for that. I have six of them. Okay. Let's let's look at this dripping root. We can temporarily use wiki. Dripping root terraria. What do we got? Tremor mod. Oh fuck. Let's try my... I can tell you what things it's used in. I can't tell you anything about those things, but I can tell you what things it's used in. It's used in the Brainiac, the Dripping Knife, and the Gross Bow. That's it. The Gross Bow. Actually, that's the only one that seems to have a basic amount of information. Uh, it has 25 range damage, and it converts arrows to eyeballs. That's... That's the only one that it gives you information on, is the Gross Bow. The other two? Fuck if I know what they do. Because it's fucking Trevor. <sighs> Man, Trevor, you're saved by the fact that you have some pretty cool bosses. Your items suck ass, though. Because I can't figure out anything about them. Speaking of which, actually, there's a boss from Tremor that we might want to beat because it uh, makes an NPC spawn that actually like, that sells you a mount, and just having any mount is overpowered. Like, it's just good to have at this point in the game, any mount, no matter how terrible. It's just Phantom Soul thing. I want to know about that too. Phantom Soul Terraria. Please don't be Tremor. Please don't be Tremor. Fuck, it's Tremor. Is it the guide? Fantastic, because I just looked up this item and I couldn't find any information. Thank you, Tremor, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this is used in a lot of shit. What the fuck? While it's used in a lot of shit, one of it is not used in anything. You need multiple of it. Alright, so useless to me, more or less.
Yeah, Gerd spawned at this point because we've um. Uh, on holy shards, I know what they do. Uh, if you convert, I think if you stand in water, you can convert them to holy sh purified shards. I think that that's the crafting station, is just standing in water. Um, that's all they're used for, by the way, is to make purified shards. But um, the purified shards are used in literally every single healer-related item somehow. So, they're valuable. I think so. As far as I'm aware. I don't know. Can't tell you for sure if that's how it works, but maybe it works. I don't know. Ah, Salem the Confused Zombie. That's the other thing that we get, because I beat um, Patchwork, Confused Zombies, now spawns. I don't know anything about him, but I do know that's how he spawns. Okay, he's just a zombie version of the guard. Gotcha. Oh, okay. He also sells um, some of the things that uh, Fuckface, uh, whatever it's called, Patchwork drops. Let's see here. It sells Vial of Blood, Vertebrae, Rotten Chunk, Rusty Sword, zo Bent Zombie Arm, Spellbook, Teeth, Necromancer's Heart, and The Good Book. So if you wanted your own good book, he's got one of them. Yeah, that would presumably give you the calm uh, buff that makes the enemies deep. Don't spawn this often. There you. Opposite of the battle potion, which makes them more common. <laughs> hey, do you want this grave buster? It's uh, the magic weapon I got off of Patchwork. I've got a better magic weapon. This thing's actually not as good. It does this. Makes the hands. Okay. It's not that interesting. It's just a thing. Um... Ew, Aerial Light is worth a lot of money. That's odd. I have 44 Aerial Light Ore. That's apparently worth 3 gold and 30 silver for just 44. That's like Demonite levels of worth. Pretty crazy. In fact... Yeah, it's only 50 copper less than a demon I Wow. It's pretty good. How many severed hands did you get? Such an exciting throwing weapon. Severed hand. Ah, you beat me. I only have four, 304. But they grab. The edge class. Yeah. How many, um, Phantom Souls do you have? Just one? That's sad. Yeah. I only have one, too. I was like, man, if we had- if you had, like, three, because you need at least four to make anything with it. So how- what is the range on this blood-drenched dagger out of curiosity? Oh, of course, it's- it's one of these. Ooh, sexy. Yeah, the thing that gives you extra blood, it's one of these. Fantastic. I love these types. Sticking my dick into the enemy. That's all that that is in my head. Um... Man, I don't fucking know. And there's actually not really much of anything I want with the dripping roots, because... While I did get the brain that is required for the Brainiac... But the remaining element that uh, concerns me is um, <clears throat> the massive amount of Addis blood I would need to make the Brainiac. I don't... I... Yeah, but I don't think you have 15 of it. That's a lot to have, I think. Kind of what I thought. The stuff isn't like Addis isn't that common. 
common that you should have a lot of it. It's not like he's the most uncommon thing, but I mean, you see him quite close. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of glad that they have these items. Uh, like one of the items that you can craft with blood is called the Halloween Spirit, and that sets your world to Halloween, even though it is not actually Halloween time-wise right now. In fact, it's almost Christmas time-wise. What that does, it'll make it so the enemies drop uh, gift bags, goodie bags, whatever. Um, and during the Christmas time, they would drop presents. So you can make that happen. Although the Christmas time thing is about to happen in like six days anyway. It's, it's from the 15th until the end of December. <sighs> Where did Salem move in, actually? Is my... This confused zombie moved in, but then... Did we have a house for him? <laughs> I don't remember that. Did multiple enemies die? Desert Acolyte died. Sandstorm Summoner. Yeah. Died. I mean, she did. She did sell that really overpowered cactus juice, so that was a thing. We need. We need like, you know how. Like basically, what we need is we need a fucking bunker of chests. We don't need. We don't need some chests. We need all of the chests. <laughs> uh, it's like 25 wood and an iron slash lead bar or something like that. Iron slash lead is the thing we're most missing though. So it should be noted. I mean, it's easy enough to go mine, but it is the thing we have the least of, I believe. Nah, gotta be iron or lead. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it's very limited. I don't know why it's all missing, but it is, so it's a thing. I don't know where it all went, but it's gone, so... Mm -hmm. Fuck me. We don't even get to make two chests, we... Woo! Man, I'm so excited for one chest. I need to clear out some of my inventory before I go mine. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually almost absurd how stupidly good that is, because you could honestly do nothing with that. Because even in hard mode, it increases in damage to supplement that, so it should still be good, even in hard mode. Which begs the question of, is it so good? That it's a permanent equip. Who knows? But... Well, you can, but the way you upgrade it, it requires... Like, by the time that you can upgrade it, you're looking at a lot of bullshit to make that happen. Um... Uh, let's check get the guy here real quick. But I believe it's a lot of stuff. Let's see here. All the things you need to increase it. You are making the absorber with this. The Absorber requires the Grand Gelatin, the Seashell, the Crab Carrot, Claw Carapace, the Fungal Carapace, Giant Tortoise Shell, and Amidas Amadiasis Spark. Now, the Grand Gelatin, yeah, that's the one that you have. I'm entirely sure the Giant Tortoise Shell comes from Giant Tortoises in hard mode because it makes sense. Um, Fungal Carapace might be dropped by Crabulon? I don't know. I don't know where the, the craw carapace comes from. The seashell, I think, is... 
somehow related to that underwater biome we were in, but I think we got all the chests down there, so if it didn't spawn, then I don't think it will. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um... Frickin' NPC that I can solve to? Solve. It's worthless crap. Okay, what can blood do? Just so I know whether or not to keep blood or under dagger. It's like worth it. Uh, well, it makes vials. Oh my god! Is there anything else I care about with this blood moon? Yeah, we want to try to get more of those. Cause that edgy armor is, that edgy stuff is cool. Plus, I mean, we'll be the envy of Jaden, so it's important. Yeah, very true. I got something valuable though. I got the musketeer hat off of one of those stupid musketeer zombies. It's actually not a vanity item. It actually deals. It actually has defense. Three, granted, which isn't very good, but hey. I mean, So we can be the two musketeers. <laughs> we need a third one, of course. Give it to, uh... Give it to Ethan, and then, yeah, whoever comes on next, they get to be... Oh, no, I got something actually important. A normal vanilla Blood Moon item drop. The money trough. It is very important. Mobile piggy bank is awesome sauce. <laughs> oh, this might have... Well, you had a very short lived life. The guy ended up stealing somebody else's house, but so did he, so. Same deal. I don't actually know who drops these, uh, phantom shards, so I can't exactly be hunting for a specific enemy here. As far as I know, it could be dropped by anything, so... Who knows? I mean, I think it's probably the shadowy edgelord dudes, but not sure. I've noticed that those guys exist. So. That is a shadowy edge lord, dude. It's called Phantom. I would assume that that's the guy. There he is. There he is. Drop one now. I've killed, I've killed like four now, and that was the first one I got, so he isn't that common. That's kind of annoying. Up on downstone. It's probably just better overall. <sighs> Yo, 
edgy cunt dude. Here. I need more. Of your edgy cunt item. The refresh thing? Yeah. It's kind of meant to be. Yeah, it's but it's meant for between combat, so you can start every combat fresh. I've used it in a boss fight before. Granted, it really does screw you because I think the defense reduction is actually like really really high because I I feel like I take more than double damage after using it, so... <laughs> Should be noted that it is not the perfect solution in a boss fight. Yeah, Pointera's kind of slow. <laughs> Duke Fishrod, dude, you use it once, you're dead. He deals too much damage and is way too fast. You can never stand a chance. You'd literally just be like... The, like, Duke Fishron holds up his hand and goes, Alright, who wants to die? Please raise your hand. You raise your hand. I reward you for your commendable uh, act of sacrificing yourself. I actually won't kill you today. I'll go kill Ross instead. Okay. Thanks, Duke Fishron. You're so nice to me. Oh no, the painter! I'm so sad! Did he drop a- he dropped a paint gun. I'm taking that shit. Oh my god, wow. Where did he die? Where did the fucking painter even live? I don't know anything about the pa oh, he did drop the paint gun. Perfect. It's actually good at this stage of the game. It's actually okay at this point, so I'll take it. Um... No, I'm wrong. It is not okay at this point, because it's expert mode. If this was an expert mode, the paint gun would be okay at this point. <laughs> expert mode, it deals way too little damage. Discovery confirmed. Man, really, the 150th demon. I haven't seen a phantom in so long, so... It's, it's, you know, the reason I'm partaking in this Blood Moon, and yeah, it's I won't show up. I'll, uh, send in my good friend, the, uh, what are these things called? Forest Spirits? I don't even know why these are spawning during the Blood Moon. I hate it so much, though, because I don't get knocked back by anything. Pretty obnoxious. See, that's, like, the one trait you don't want in your enemies. They don't get knocked back. That's kind of what makes bosses hard, because no boss gets knocked back by things. At least as far as I know, I don't remember anything getting knocked back by things. Could you imagine if there, like, there was a boss that get, could get knocked back? by things, how, like, easily cheesed that fight would be. <laughs> it could only possibly be the first boss fight. Because <laughs> you couldn't get away with that in, like, any later point in the game. You just get a high knockback weapon, and even if it takes an hour, you can still kill the boss. There are plenty of weapons that just don't have that much damage, but have insane knockback, so... Phantom. This. Just even one more Phantom Soul, and then we'd actually be able to do something. Wow. A 
according to that zombie. Just wow. I killed a zombie and he was just like, wow. Like condescending to me. Wow. As if to say, wow, you fucking asshole, you killed me. <laughs> I've never heard it before, so. It'd actually be funny if they added that effect pretty recently and we just hadn't heard it. Or it's like so rare that we somehow never heard it. Yeah, he was just condescending. Wow. Okay. You killed me. <laughs> Fucking champion over here killing a zombie. Ooh. What? Why? What? Did you do that? Okay. I thought that that just happened for no reason, and I was like, why? I mean, that's a bad... You use that at a weirdly bad time, since literally the second you used it, they <laughs> so. We did not get the third Phantom Soul. We would have needed one more Phantom Soul if we could even do anything. So, unfortunately, we can't do that. Uh, exciting again. No, it's not exciting. Very unfortunate, actually. I have... What the fuck was just happening? Our... Our nurse is God, Ross. No, she's God. She tossed? I was watch- No, she's a God. She was tossing syringes, and the motherfucking things were curving in the air to hit NPCs. They were like, dodging through houses and shit, and I was like, what the fuck? Either, maybe one of the mods upgraded her, as if she wasn't overpowered enough. Jesus, that was insane. It was like she tossed it and it did like an S-shape through our house. Yes, I can look like a complete tool wearing the musketeer hat. It doesn't even look good, it just looks stupid. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, if there's two of them, of course, we have to do it just because. A joke. Eh, I'd be interested. It gives me a source of light. That I don't need to use torches for. It's a big thing. Uh, what even is the thing? Like, if we were to be able to make anything with the four amount of phantom souls, it would be the plague outfit. And that's it, looks like. No, wait! <gasps> There's an outfit that we can make with three phantom souls, only one piece. Called the Nightingale outfit. We can actually make this. The materials are stuff that we can make. So that's interesting. Uh, well, the the hood is certainly edgy. It's like the fucking Grim Reaper's so. hood. Uh, I don't think so. I think that all they're really used for is that enchanting thing. But I mean, you can pick them up because ten of them do make a heart caster. Still decent at this point. I didn't get a second money truck, by the way. Only the one. It's unfortunate. <sighs> Alright, uh, demolition. Do you want some of my crap items? Uh, you can have. Let's see here. I don't actually really need the group. I'll keep the Grape Buster, because I don't think I can buy that, but I don't need the good book. If I want it so much, I'll fucking just get it off the computer zombie. Your mouse? Mouse wheel. I mean, you don't need them. You don't need a mouse wheel. This is coming from a person who has not had a mouse wheel at any point. Okay. 
<laughs> no, you can hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Swap. That's what I always do. See, like, you're, you're sitting over there being spoiled by the fact you have a scroll wheel. I don't get that benefit. I don't know. It's not my fault that they don't fucking put scroll wheels on the better type of mouse. <laughs> Vastly superior mouse type doesn't have scroll wheel <laughs> because it would be a really weird. You'd have to find some random place to put it. Yeah, it is dumb. Like I feel like they should just have it on like the side of the mouse or something. Uh, can you toss that flare down to me? I might not make the um, shotgun thing, but it's just good to have one. Um. I think they might have. I know there's new dyes, but I don't know if they come from strange plants. Necessarily. Alright, I need this. Yo, what are our chests looking like, like, situation-wise? Do we even have space for things? Anywhere? Yeah, we still have space for things, it's fine. But we're really starting to run low, to be fair. I mean, it makes some sense, but it's not optimal, one could say. Let's see what I get. I have 13 of these fucking things. Let's see what I get. Whee! Yeah! 30 Thoria more in a single life quartz. So. Yeah. Something. Hey man, it's thorium, man. Well, thorium actually is good. It's used in a lot of random shit. It's just like ridiculous how much of it you get off of those bags. Well, okay, I actually wonder, just out of curiosity, what are those things even called? Bags of potential. I want to know what the percentage odds on these things are. Oh no, that was something I killed. Okay, literally, I will tell you what can be found in the bag of potential. It's really, really cool. Alright, there's an item that can be used at the extractor, yielding 2 to 3 thorium ore each, and having a 16.67% chance of yielding 1 life quartz instead. It's dropped by all enemies at a low chance after that. Cthulhu has been defeated. So that's it. Just those two items. Just those two. It's... But it also has a note that says these literally exist solely for the fact that it makes Thoria more and Life Quartz technically infinite resources. Um, a lot of these mods, what they do is they make it so that you can have infinite of an item. Like, even if you were to mine every bit of the ore out of the world, you can still have more. That's the reason behind why that exists. They should be probably more uncommon if that's all they are, but that is the reasoning behind why they exist. Like, there's a slime now that spawns underground called the Arrow Slime, and it exists solely to drop Aerolite. Uh, in case you consume on your Aerolite. F1? Yeah, that's the camera setting. I, I sometimes go into that. It's like, it lets you, you really don't want to fuck with the camera mode too much because you really can screw up your game bad in that mode. <laughs> like, you can set it so that literally you can only see the direct blocks around your player and nothing else. <laughs> Which would be the hardest way to play Terraria ever. 
Do you want to see? Too bad. You can't. Bunch of what? Why? Yeah, it's not a really good way of doing that. Um, they just require a lot of random stuff, but. Tungsten's equivalent to silver. Probably a lot of stuff. Like, gold is just one of those resources that's used in a lot of random things, in my experience. Mm. I mean, it's up to you. I'll blame you later if we're, if like, I need gold for something and I can't fucking find it. But, other than that... That is exactly the thing that somebody says before things turn out shit. Like, in a few, in a few minutes we're really gonna need gold for something, and we're gonna be like, fuck. We probably need a big ass room for this, so that's a whole other thing we need to make. Just some room to put it all in. Mm, we probably want it to be underground, just because it's convenient. Probably a lot of random stuff. We have a lot of randomly lying around chests in the world, but we have to go find those. It's gonna be even more because of modded as well. That's kind of. What about, say, oh no, mushroom chests don't work because you can't craft those at all? No, craftable. Okay. How do? I, I kind of have my doubts that it wouldn't require. Yeah, they pretty much don't require iron bars. In fact, oh, okay. You know, I was about to say, there wasn't. So, yeah, so apparently the golden chest crafting recipe is just something that must have been added by a mod, because you can't craft those normally. This is weird. You would think that you'd be able to. But apparently you can't. Every single chest you can craft requires iron bars. Except this. But that's a, obviously added by a mod then, because it's not even on the wiki that you can craft those. 
Maybe. Yeah, we don't need tungsten for anything. That shit's garbage. It is! What do you want me to say? It's fucking worthless to us. It's silver. We don't need it. At this point, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna put away some of my guitars. I have three guitars in my inventory. Um, it's excessive how many guitars. Yeah, I mean, I have... Alright, so I have a Skyware Loot, a U-Wood Loot, and a Zealous Sitar. You can? Oh, can't. Okay. That's kind of what I thought, because I don't know what that would even look like. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Nicer lands? For what? Urn? Yeah. I shall search for urn as well. I've been all the way to both sides. Oh. Doesn't exactly mean much. I mean, I do have a. I, my cave that I've been going into does go down to hell. And we're just about to hit my cave that I go into. Did you just like discover some just underground there? Or... There's a mine. I used so inconspicuous. Like, there's actually plenty of iron in my usual cave, I just don't even notice it. Because it's the same color as dirt and seems to always be surrounded by dirt. It's like, so inconspicuous, you don't even notice it unless you're looking for it. Like, what on earth? Well, once you get past this one large-ass chunk of snow, it's done. So that's all the snow in the world, is that big-ass chunk next to our house. The thing about iron is that it doesn't seem to be spawning in overly big veins. Like, even when I'm finding it, it's like, ooh, that's like five iron. Why don't you give me more than five, and then we'll talk. Get down! Is that iron, or is that like, underneath the tungsten? No, it's not. It's stone. <laughs> Hard to tell the difference. Um... Fuck ton of amethyst. I'm just gonna mine that. You never know when you need amethyst. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 
that's the one. The big ass pit. You'll know it, because it's a pain in the ass to get down it unless you have uh, negating fall damage like I do. <laughs> uh, I crafted a uh, lucky horseshoe. You can just craft one. I don't think we have enough materials to craft another one, but if you just go find any skyline, you'll be able to get them here. Oh, Seriously, Iron, why, why do you gotta spawn in such tiny quantities? It's like, here, have three. I don't need three, I need, like, more than three. Thanks. I know I'm being picky. Like here, it's like, at least it's giving me some, but it's obnoxious that it is like taunting me and not giving me anything. I still can't mind whatever the hell that um, thing that looks exactly like like, like Life Courts is. It, I don't know what it is, but I can't mind it. <laughs> it's, it shines green when you attack it, so... Who knows what the hell that is. Alright, here's a bigger ore vein of iron here. <sighs> Get far enough down into my cave, uh... There is a boss we could fight, although I don't know if we want to fight any boss if it's just the two of us. Well, no, we'd be able to beat it. The point is that I don't know if we want to make progression. I guess it's not that big a deal, though, if people just aren't going to fucking show up. Oh, found Goblin. Yeah, I found the Goblin! Yeah! Yeah, I have already bought the Tinker Table and Rocket Boots. Woo, in case... In case, in case he dies, I'm not taking any goddamn chances. Those are mandatory. Yeah, but we'd have to wait for him. I just want to get those out of the way as quick as possible. Boom, boom. I'll buy it. I don't fucking care. I have enough gold to buy everything in this shop. It's whatever. <laughs> single, single... Top five most valuable NPCs, specifically for a single item that sells. Right. Okay. I don't know where- oh, you went, uh, into part of the cave that I haven't even been to. Alright, hold on, we need to join a team for you to help with me. What team? Mr. Green? Alright, yeah. Green at B. Meet Dars, the go the goblin. Here, hey, yeah, hold on. I've even got some things that I can craft together. Here, I'm gonna fucking do that. Ah, I got grace. I have some things in my inventory as we speak that I can craft together. So, yeah. Don't need it. I'm uninterested to BH, but I mean. Sandstorm in a balloon, then yellow horseshoe in a balloon. Alright, I just freed up two accessory slots right there. Some good shit. Uh, I don't have my Hermes boots on me. Actually, you know what I do? Piggy bank! Yeah! Maybe. Spectre boots. Yeah, baby. Alright, um... Any other accessory combination that I can do right now? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, check my piggy bank. Ah, damn! Hano and Richard throwing a party right now! Goblin is celebrating it, I guess. I don't think it is. Yeah, I'll also do turbo boots so I can jump really high. Um... Whee! Damn, I fucking... I have like it. Hey. 
And like a solid 20 block jump. With just my first jump, and then my double jump shoots me up to like 80. <laughs> Silly. Uh, anything else you're gonna craft together? Let me make sure I grab it. You don't have the balloon right now, though. Table. Uh, how much iron did I get up to? I'm curious. I got a big vein down there a second. Where even is my iron? I know I have it. Ah, uh, 61. I have now. It's enough for 30, which would be 15 chests, which is a lot, but uh, we can do better. <laughs> I feel like I almost jumped too high. This is actually, like, borderline annoying how high I jump. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of it. That's gold. Ooh, I'm just gonna grab that, so why not? one of them, but always good to grab one. Cause combines with other shit. I forgot. This was the mine shaft of no chest, and it really pissed me off. There's this big ass fucking mine shaft with no chest in it, and it annoys me even to this day. No, well, there is a chest in there. <laughs> it's. It's. There, there is a chest in there, but you know, like those broken chests with like cobwebs on them? It's one of them. So it's like, oh, okay, I guess I don't get a chest and get one of them instead. I'm glad. No, I'm really. Yeah, I was mining gold. But we don't have lead. Yeah, if we have iron, we can't get lead, so. I mean, we can off of extracting there. So if you see, like, silt or anything like that, Things you can extract in later, you can get let off that. Let and iron. Slush does work. Accurate. Uh, silt, slush, desert fossils. I think those are the ones that you can do it with. Desert fossils would also probably get you a fuck ton of iron. But you'd also get. Those have like increased chances of getting other crap too, so. Not necessarily. I mean, if I learned anything, if I learned anything from my desert fossil excursion, uh, it seems like anything from the extractinator just gives you a fuck ton anyway. But <laughs> got a marble chest. That thing looks fancy. It's a chest where we'll store our marbles and nothing else because it's the marble chest. Anyway. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, right. I'm basically just working my way to hell, getting every iron ore that I've missed this whole time on the way. <laughs> Oh, I don't place torches. You don't understand. That's... You're gonna ruin my cave by making it actually fucking visible. Excuse me? Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. I don't need your pity. Oh, that's actually good. I mean, I think I found the spider dungeon, so it might be the same one that I already had. But... Oh, okay. I was very confused. I was like going, why the hell is it so hard to move? Motherfucking enemy just confused me. Ew. Hate that stats. What, just so we can get the stylist out of the way, right? If anything, I'd be on the lookout for web chests, because those are cool. I think they drop extra things now as well. With Molly. Most notably, the gun that fires off the cobwebs that supposedly you can fire off, and that's why they're always putting your cap. I mean, one of the things you can get is a web blaster, web slinger. It's a uh, grappling hook. It's the it's the eight pronged grappling hook. <laughs> it's got like the range. It's got like range of like sixteen blocks, which is completely stupid for a grappling hook. But eight hooks. <laughs> but eight hooks. If for some reason you want eight hooks. Uh, those probably do stuff when you break them. Maybe I want to avoid that, but... Hmm. Fun. I don't think that that's a boss spawn thing, but... Sounds like it does something. This fucking gravestone. Ugh. I hate gravestones. Take a space on the bar. Razzle, 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 razzle. Zephyr. Did I ever save my Zephyr? I think I did. would be a good way to upgrade. These boots. Maybe I did. Hope I did. I mean, I, I got the other materials too. I just don't want to waste them. I have the Zephyrs flying around here somewhere. Did I get one? I don't think I actually did. Right, because it's not a good one for that. Yeah, I probably did. Not shocking. I don't go through every cab like crevice in the cave. I'm always trying to find the quickest right way down because generally the further down you go, the better shit you get. But Yeah. But I wasn't looking for iron when I'm mining normally. So I don't traditionally venture off the beaten path too much. Uh Grappling hook is always useful. You just never used it before. <laughs> Alright. Lightning boots. Good shit. Just, I mean, ice skates to the next one. Sure, Bruce, do you do anything? You do not. Can I do anything with the one hot shirt on? Nope. No, uh, worm scarf. I can with worm scarf. <laughs>
really good. Yeah, it seems to be like it's used in a lot of things, but you need an insane amount of it for everything that it's used in. <laughs> oh, I do have 101 uh, iron, so that's 25 chests. I think we have more than enough chests in theory. We're very disorganized, as we all know. So, as a result, I, I'm like too lazy to do that. But. <laughs> Everybody's gonna ignore that. Eventually. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Uh, one from everything from Tremor. Because we're not gonna be doing that many Tremor items. Uh. That's the only thing, like... We just have, like, alright, so we pick the shittiest fucking looking chest that we can find, put them in, like, a back corner, and that's the Tremor chests. <laughs> the chests of items that shall not be talked about, because literally nobody wants to talk about them. Oh, speaking of, you know that uh, support healing flask that hurts you? Tremor. Excellent. Good item. If it's an annoying or, or shitty item, Tremor. <laughs> there are people that... It, well, Thorium was the one I picked up on a whim, and it's actually been the most useful of any of the mods so far. Like, over half the random items we've made, Thorium. Thorium just adds so much, like, random good shit. Uh, Calamity is the one that says the best. Tremor was- Tremor is the one that people still talk about, though. There's plenty of people that do LPs and only just Tremor. So I, I wonder how- I wonder how that functions. I- well, it's got a lot of content. It just has no documentation, which is just about the most annoying thing ever. You can't have a mod without documentation. It's so important to know what items do. Because imagine if I waste all my time making an item, I finally craft it, and find out it's worthless. I don't want to do that. You know? So it's... Well, by the time that you can make the flamethrower, it's outclassed already, unfortunately. It's okay, 
It's just the damage is pretty low. It it do, it is AOE. That's his big bonus. Is that it's AOE. But unfortunately, it's damage output is just kind of pathetic for the stage of the game where you could possibly get it. <laughs> I mean, the Onyx Blaster is good. That is correct. To be fair, breathing underwater isn't even something you can do in normal Terraria until late into hard mode. It's, it's pretty stupid, but that's the way it is. No, nah, it's not Duke Fish Run, but to breathe underwater, uh, the first item that lets you breathe underwater is Neptune Shell, and that's dropped by an enemy during the Solar Eclipse, which is pretty late. I mean, we fought it pretty late. We technically could have fought it on the first night of hard mode, I think. Not sure. We would have. But it took us a long fucking time to get to Solar Eclipse. It was until we could spawn it that it happened. Uh, and then we spawned it a fuckload. And then after that, it just spawned sometimes. And it was like, God damn it, this is actually kind of annoying now. So. Yeah. Who knows, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty absurd. Remember that blood moon that you complained about not having? Yeah, well, have it. Okay, thanks, game. Uh, I didn't really want it a second time. Too bad. <sighs> How many stars just fell near me in the course of five seconds? I wonder. <laughs> I heard at least six star sounds. Dude, they're fucking worthless. We have so many stars. I've got a mono crystal literally hovering around in my inventory because I was because I made it trying to see if I could uh Ah, you got close enough to hell. That's a thing. Near hell. Nice. Yeah, and those fireballs kind of hurt if he manages to hit you. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it is, though. It's, it's who knows. Well, this could be good for the fact that it is so hard to get, though. Because it takes so long to get to the stage where you can mine it. So it might be good, who knows. I swear to... I swear to God, if it is something that requires a hard mode pickaxe to break, I will be mad. Because if it requires that, it shouldn't spawn pre-hard mode at all. Oh, well, what do we have? 85 pickaxe power? I don't know what could be higher than what we have, because... Let's see, just in, but in... Let's vanilla see what is possible before... 
This is just vanilla, of course, but let's see how far you can go. Uh, pretty hard mode. Looks like you can get as far as... Hell's Illuminite. I've never even really seen that before. Is that hard mode, or... What is... Yeah, that's the Moon Lord pickaxe. Never mind. <laughs> That's why I hadn't seen it, because it's fucking, you're never gonna get to that point. Um, so, pickaxe power, you're looking at. No. Nightmare pickaxe is as good as you can get pre hard mode vanilla. So, we're actually, we actually are beyond what is possible. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Sorry, there is one thing we could get that's better. The motherfucking Reaver Shark. Yeah! Stupid 100 pickaxe power over there, that motherfucker. <laughs> so I guess we could fit. Maybe. We could fish, try to get that guy. He's not that rare. Ocean only, but he isn't that rare. In the first world, I don't think I got a single one in the second world that we did. I didn't do much fishing in the ocean, though, to be fair. <sighs> that If that guy doesn't break it, I will just be like, really? Whatever mod added that shit, like, needs to fuck off. <laughs> uh, probably Tremor. Uh, because... I might, well, I might... I would... I actually wouldn't be... Let's see here. What are we looking at? Aerolite is another one of those random ores that we couldn't break. That's... That is Calamity that has that. So it might be Calamity also. Here. I don't know... Out of curiosity... Okay, I can tell you for sure it is not, um, what's his face, uh, Thorium. Let's check Calamity. Or, ores. Let's see. Is it, it is Calamity, yes. Um, and yes, you cannot break it until hard mode. It's called Perennial Ore. You would need at least Perennial Ore. That's what it's called. Um, let's see here. Hard Mode or Founding Cavern. Used to craft Perennial Burrows and or Requires at least a Pickaxe Axe or Drax to mine. What's the Pickaxe at? Power of these things. Uh, 200%. So, yes, absolutely unobtainable at this stage. 100% unobtainable. Okay. That that's unobtainable until you beat all three mechanical bosses. The pickaxe. No, actually, it's it's the uh, hallowed bars that you need for the pickaxe axe and rats. So it's the things. No, but you, actually, technically, you could get it before you kill all three, but you'd need to kill at least two before you'd have enough pickaxe uh, of the bars to make either of those items. So, yes, that is an obnoxious thing, and I'm actually pissed that the, it even spawns in the world in that case. It, it, uh, it, I mean, you could break it as is. What? Ah, oh, let me see here. Is it perhaps the great and wonderful, uh, what's its face? The bitch queen? Yeah. K please, please kill her. Please. I, I don't just mean to satisfy your own morbid, you know, fuck her. I mean, just get rid of her. Because if we kill her, we get to move on to the next goddamn quest with the fuck this. God damn it. I am legitimately just, like, very much considering spawning her and killing her just so we can get past that stupid quest. We can't get past this stupid quest until she dies, and it's dumb. Oh, and guess what, Ross? You know that ice ore that you see in the underground ice iron vial that we can't break? 
another hard mode ore. <laughs> um, let's see here. You would need an adamantine or titanium for that. Is that possible with the Reaper Shark cheese strat? I think that adamantite is 110. 180, fuck me. Okay. Um, I'm wrong, fuck it. All right, so, you know those ores that you haven't been able to mine? You won't be able to mine them. <laughs> for a while. But aerialite you can mine. In fact, we have plenty of aerialite as is. I've mined quite a bit, but... Um, a couple things you can make with that stuff. <sighs> Mostly the power of urn. Yeah. Thirty-three whole urn. Immense urn premise power, whatever. Fuck it. That is thirty fur urn in that chest. Thirty fur urn. A fucking contract guy. You really? Okay. Nymph. Fifty-five. Earn. Hey, I made two gold bars, so I mean that counts for something. Even though you probably can make more of that than I can. But, yeah. We're fucking showing off over there. Fucking he's being a goddamn show off. He's fucking making me feel like I'm fucking nothing. Jeez, over there, being an ass. Damn. I see how it is. I mean, it's not like I fucking have any feelings, right? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It does. Don't don't question it. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Yeah, fine. It probably does something. Uh, glass kiln is that undoubtedly modded because I don't know, but... glass kiln terraria <laughs> official terraria wiki. This is official. Um, what are we looking at here? It's used to craft glass furniture. That's what it's used to craft. That's it. Glass furniture. Hey, we can be glass slip. <laughs> let's not make that then. And on second thought, let's not. On second thought, let's not do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, how much I appreciate you, Thorium. For having only ores that you can actually fucking mine before hard mode spawn before hard mode. I appreciate that very much. It's very good of you to fucking, you know, only spawn things that I can actually friggin' use. You, on the other hand, Calamity, <laughs> you're gonna lose credit with me. You don't want to fall to the level of Tremor, so you better get your shit together. <laughs> oh, I didn't make chests. Uh, all the iron that I have is in the shared uh, chest. I just put it all in there. I don't have any wood, so it's not like I can make any anyway. Uh, maybe I could. It's a guy. Alright, danger dual shot. Hey, now hold on. You're not done yet. 
There's one marble. One marble chest. Hold on. Marble chest. There you go. One marble chest. It is. Top 10. Top 10 best chests. 2014. 2014. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. eh, it's got auto swing, so I mean, it's something but it's not good. I was like, it's like, what can I use with these danger shards? Apparently, not much, but just checking the sword to see what's special about it. It's got auto swing, which would be, you know, good not for the fact that <laughs> we all got some kind of overpowered sword. You didn't get an auto swing though, so there's that. But you got probably the best sword among all of us. You just don't have the auto swing. <laughs> Which is always a problem. Molten scale shield. Mm. Man. You just overkill over there with the you know, retaliation. Don't touch me. I'm fucking real. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm not scared. You ought to be scared of me. Fucking stay inside today. I'm gonna stay inside today, thanks. I, I don't know, I'm feeling sick. I don't wanna. <laughs> they were. Okay, well, the Slime King told them to take a break today. Oh, what did you do? A green slime? <laughs> Eh, well, at least it's an ice slime. I think ice takes additional damage from fire. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, the shock is the overpowered thing anyway. <sighs> shock is really just probably... <laughs> that that accessory is kind of overpowered. <laughs> Maybe more than kind of overpowered. Excessively overpowered. It basically nullifies the expert mode, though. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. I mean, it, it won't it won't be forever. Well, actually, it increases in damage for hard mode, so it might. But the difference is that they won't stand on it, and that's where a lot of the damage comes from. In fact, they stand on it. I have a feeling... I have a suspicious feeling that those guys will be easy. Now, I know that that sounds stupid, but with all these modded items, I've seen what modded items can do to characters. I have a suspicion... This is true. Expert mode might come... It's mostly... Yeah, spasmaticism. Fuck Retinazer, he's not a problem. is just kind of like <laughs> the kid brother to spasmaticism over there. <laughs> like spasmaticism, first form, frickin' brutally chases you down to destroy you. Second form, breathes fire that just destroys you in two seconds. Retinazer, first form, shoots lasers. Second form, shoots lasers. Faster than before. They don't deal any more damage, but I mean, woo. <laughs> Spasmaticism really is the problem. And he's actually probably the only reason Retinazer can ever catch you as well, because he drags Retinazer along with him wherever he goes. <laughs> he like charges at you and then Retinazer just gets pulled. <laughs> I don't want to go! Too bad, we're attached together for some reason.
You need to be careful. You'll get in a bad habit of that, and then you'll get destroyed eventually. It's fine for now, but just you wait. You'll be sorry. <laughs> it's one of the classic, like, mom insults. You'll be sorry. I never say I'm sorry. I'll never be sorry. You're wrong about that. All right. I fell down a hole. Watch out for those. There's a demon altar down here. That's pretty cool. An extra chest, actually. Hold on. Let me grab the freaking loot all chest and then freaking so I can mine the chest. Boom! Extra chest. Woo! Falling on this pit did something for us. Yeah, I know. I'm just being dumb. I had to have a reason for why this wasn't awful to go down here. Just whatever. Uh... <sighs> Halfway there. Ooh -wee. Hey, he's coming for you. Thief, coming to steal your items and die in the process because he's fucking stupid. <laughs> Just runs into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the squirrel. You best be careful. Actually, the squirrel stops. <laughs> I mean, I don't like squirrels. I don't like squirrels. I mean, you know, I would be perfectly fine if you murdered a squirrel. Isn't it weird, though, that in Terraria, you always end up killing the rabbits? Not the squirrels, not the other things, the rabbits. Just inadvertently, they die. I guess they're the most common one, but it's like, I never seem to accidentally kill a squirrel. But I accidentally kill a lot of rabbits. This tent does anything, or is it just cosmetic? Probably just cosmetic. I mean, it looks fancy. I don't think it does anything. Where is the guy? Okay, just, just fuck off with this shit. I am so tired of this. This wasn't even. This isn't even funny. This is stupid. Now, now it's a horrible night to have a curse. Thanks, Ross. You freaking cursed us. Well, we can make one piece of the edgy armor. We actually already could make one piece of the edgy armor and discover it, but now we can make it. Yeah, Abomination is the thing that replaces, um, Patchwork, after you kill Patchwork. Because Patchwork never spawns again after you kill him once, which is really kind of stupid. But if you want to know what Patchwork looks like, imagine the Abomination enemy that you could just kill wearing a hat. Basically, all the patchwork. Here. It's pretty dumb. Wow. Oh, 
Wow, so skilled. Fucking killing a zombie. Wow. Where's your award for doing such an impressive thing? Wow. I don't know how I feel about this random tiny space next to the house that you decided will be a house. I don't know if that's enough space for somebody. I don't know if it's wide enough. But it's not like a good, that's like the wow that's just like, I don't care enough to do my condescending wow even. Just fall. Oh, it makes sense. Time. Music changed. I'm not hearing Bloodborne music. Bloodborne hmm. oh. music just decided to stop. <laughs> huh. right. Yeah, I'm actually about to die simply because I am doing like an awful habit of just letting enemies hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened to that enemy. I didn't kill him. He still had half his health left. I just smacked him while he had half his health left and he just disappeared. Didn't die, just disappeared. I think I raptured an enemy. I mean, I've got no other explanation for what that was, so. Oh dude, that's pretty exciting. You can craft that. <laughs> I don't know what mod lets you craft all this stuff, but. You can craft, like, half the random accessories anyway. Watch if you like Tremors only redeeming the factor. Circle of life, circle of death. Yeah. yeah. Tears of death is actually something that I didn't know how you get. I don't I still don't know how you get. I don't know what you killed to get it.
wonder if that's a Blood Moon specific thing or if that's coincidental. It's used in some random things that I've looked into. I don't really know specifics about it. Eh, that makes sense. Wow. Yeah, I feel yeah. I feel pretty wow too, honestly. Crazy just how well it works to slam your face into enemies. I don't think that's contributing to your damage as much as you think it is. I guess, yeah. It's still not worth equipping that piece of garbage. I mean, I guess it does make you immune, though, so I guess it would combo pretty well. Does it release the sparks even though you're immune to damage when you're using it? Because, I mean, that would be the only valid combo I could think of for the damn thing. It's just kind of a... Unless you just don't have any other accessories, it's just not worth having. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my thoughts, actually. I was about to finish the sentence with, wow, personally. Yeah, I don't think that's a rare zombie voice line. That's probably been modded. Because <laughs> I've heard it plenty of times now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's good. It's zombie killing more interesting. You sometimes get, they're just, wow. At you. <laughs> Damn, an angry shackle. That's exciting. I'd be pretty excited about an angry shackle. Sure did. It's not like that's a chairman. There might have, there might be some dripping roots around. I don't think. There's one there. Glowstone. Fancy. That thing's more common than they made it out to be. <laughs> it's like the wiki is like you should really pick this up. It's kind of a rare drop. Um, Pretty useful to have. Yeah, I bet it's freaking useful to have a thing that draws that commonly. <laughs> they don't even sell for that good. I think it's like 20 silver. Yeah, subpar. hear the ching sound. Ow. Oh, okay. I think it's the same thing that it's kind of like similar to how like I have certain weapons that like you just don't hear the sound of but it's really annoying. So I think my 
I think my enchanted sword does that too. Yeah, it does. I just don't use my enchanted sword that much. So, like the little mana restoration chain thing, when like your mana's full. But yeah, my enchanted sword does that too. I just don't use it that much, so I don't notice it. What if any of the NPCs started selling new things and one of them happened? I really doubt it, but I mean, I haven't really checked them, so it's possible. Reflective die? Yeah, I'm not interested in reflective die. It's like the most boring die. Yeah, that's all I have for now, so we just have to come back later. Bring me more strange plants. Secretly, I don't even make the dyes out of the strange plants. I smoke the strange plants and I just give them whatever pocket lint I have. Now oh, you gotta fortify them all. Good for you. does, uh, but it is cool that it provides a shield as well. Create the, create the chest hell. Gotcha. I mean, I have an idea. Um, well, it is going to be a hole in the ground. That's absolutely confirmed. I just need to pick up place for it. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move some of our cracking sequence by the way. Like, well, how about we remove how about we move this stupid living loon where the fuck it is? Move that someplace else. I don't even think we use this for anything, so Yeah. Cool. Emerald. Cool man. He's the Emerald Chef. Not the Emerald, but Emerald. Which is like 50 times as good anyway, so... Just to be real. Actually... I'm gonna... Do that. It does look alright. This room is not going to be pretty for now, just so you're aware of that. Alright, I should probably make platforms. Not everybody can jump like a fucking madman. <laughs> I can make a rope, actually. Do you have excessive amounts of rope? I assume you do. Yeah, what I meant when I said it's not going to be crazy is I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not fixing up the damn dirt walls. Well, let's see here. I guess we all have grappling hooks, so technically I don't need to make a rope or anything, but it's just a matter of convenience, probably. Do you have rope? I always throw out my rope. I think we'll only really need like 28 for that. Yeah. 
How far down does that go? Perfect. Uh, that far down, I can go five more down. All right. Sounds like a plan. Six actually. Maybe. No. Okay. There's your limit of how far down you can go. And still make this. At least with the rope that you gave me. Um. That's probably fine for now. It's actually probably convenient to have the rope anyway. It means I can do this. Uh. What block side? Sounds right. For now. This room is going to be really big. It'll be quite a while to dig all of the dirt walls. That's very convenient that I did an exact number like that. Ooh. Have a dirt. Yeah. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, off. Start with a room about that size. Upgrade it inevitably. <laughs> We're going to need more than this, I'll tell you that right now, but that's the rope we have right now, so we'll make it as we go. You need 999. I got you 999, I mean. You don't need to make the background of this dynasty wood. I know it does, but I mean, I mean, the, when the traveling merchant comes back, he always sells it. Well, yeah, but it's, it's like a, I don't know, he pretty much always has it in my experience. Uh, well, most of the time, but he does his job. Yeah. Well, Abraham, you know, he'll always come to visit us, even if nobody else will. Does it, e even if every NPC in our entire, like, town thing here dies and goes away, Abraham will always be there for us. Abraham the Traveling Merchant. So, yeah, you said, you know, who knows when the next traveling merchant will show up. Never Abraham shows up. You can't, uh... It's kind of hard to kill one of those guys, unfortunately. Although, actually, since we can spawn the Halloween uh, shit, like, we can make it the Halloween season, uh, we could technically get the rotten eggs that's required to kill NPCs, you just need a crazy amount of rotten eggs to do it. To kill an NPC, since rotten eggs only deal one damage, you need 250 rotten eggs. Just stupid. And then you need the nurse to be nowhere near said scene, because she'll absolutely outheal you. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. She'll still all heal the boulders, though, because you need to place them down and all that. <laughs> she can't, but then you're an asshole killing the nurse. Boss spawns in the middle of the night. Once hard mode happens, uh, the mechanical boss will just sometimes spawn, so... Get frickin' the twins to come by. Hey, we're here! And you just die to them and they'll go away. <laughs> I guess if you die to them, though, they just go away, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, so... This is the starting canvas for this room. I should probably make a... Eh. You know, we'll, we'll get to that. I was about to say, I should probably realistically make a um, border around this room. Well, I can do that, but I need to... I was gonna say, we probably need a border to this room. Unless I just want it to be dirt and stone, which isn't that big a deal, it's just... If you're gonna be bothered to put up walls, you should probably put up the rest of that stuff, too. Uh, now, let's start with the wooden platforms across the thing. How high is a chest? The chest is two tiles high. Correct. See if, like, these have different heights. Marble, just, like, making sure that that's always true. Actually, the living would, you know, the dynasty chests are smaller, for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, it should all be two. The granite chest almost looks like it isn't, but I think it is. Uh, Alright, so. In that case, we need, not there, well, not, there it is. It's gonna look, like, really dumb. Wait, is that two? Yes, okay. Now we'll keep... Is that... Hold on. Yeah, that should be fine. I just want to make sure that the three in the middle are clear. Well... That wall is actually a really convenient measure of the spacing. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, no, 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 I've already started placing the platforms. I am not changing the color of the platforms on two sides. Get the fuck out of here. That's dumb. That's not happening. I actually need more wood. Uh, do we even have wood just lying around? Just not wood. wood. 14! Woo! Oh, and 74 extra. Okay, we're fine. 74 extra wood platforms. Yeah, wood platforms. Yeah, but I mean, I've already started placing the wood ones. Oh, that'll be good for later. For now, I think that we're just going to keep this room at this size. I think that we'll have enough space to put all Maybe. Actually, you put... You know why you're running out of dynasty wood? You made 47 freaking dynasty wood chests. Like, jeez. You kind of overdid it. We don't need that many. Pick 
assume this is the last layer I'll be able to make this. Yeah. If I made another platform, I wouldn't be able to fit the... Well, I could make it kind of this, and I think I could do it. But no, but it needs to be. Hold on. The top one needs to be a little bit taller, though, because we need to be able to walk as well. I think that this is fine. Okay, that looks bad. <laughs> I mean, it, it works, but it's just, it, that's an excessive amount of torch. Um, let's see here. You know what's good? Is that this half of the room is really well lit, whether or not there's torches or not. This half is not. Because, you know that stupid night vision lamp that's up in where the guide used to live? It, it's reach is exactly up to this side of the room. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Like over here it's dark, you walk over this way and then suddenly light. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna move that night vision lamp. It's like, I should just put that in the center of our house. So that it's heading the entire house, not side. Yeah. Alright, just put the miners out there. So it gets... Hey, you might get the musketeer hat. Maybe. Nope, the musketeer hat. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's start with dynasty chest. What, uh, do you want, like, a hierarchy of, like, you know, good to bad looking chests? What are we talking about? Okay. So, like, we have a metric fuckton of dynasty chests, but... Yeah. So put those near the bottom. I think these might actually only be one block tall for us. They're as tall as a torch. I mean... These might be, like, the most space-efficient thing ever. Well, I completely, on accident, made this room exactly the right size. Right. I'm very glad that I did that. But I don't try to do these things, <laughs> so... So, we could fit 16 chests across every layer. Um, they're just gonna, like, Ethan and Jade are gonna come, well, Jaden especially, but Ethan is gonna come back and just be like, what the fuck is this noise with all these freaking chests? So we never have to make a chest again. Theory. It's a theory, but who knows. Yeah, these are actually gonna be somewhat inconvenient to use though. <laughs> because Because of the fact that I made them exactly as tall as a chest is, technically you're one block taller than a chest. So the spacing is weird for like landing on the platform you want to be on. You always jump one higher than you want to be, and then you need to jump down. This is gonna bug me. This is gonna bug me so much. We have exactly 15 dynasty chests. I would be one short to make this layer. Yeah, just make one more, just because this will annoy me. Wow, Piggy Bank actually is technically the size of a... Damn, I didn't even realize that. Same size as a Dynasty Chest, I think. Almost, maybe. It's pretty weird. Yeah. 
There you go. Now we can place it across. And this will complete all our dynasty chests. What? Oh, okay, I misplaced one. I was like, why the hell is it on even? Excuse me? How long is it happening? And then we have exactly enough to make a golden chest layer. One layer of golden chest, like the exact amount. So, with that in mind... Would gold chest be the next layer? Because it's what we have the next most of? I'm almost questioning if we could possibly go through this many chests, but at the same time... It's possible. <laughs> it, we need to be stupid and never, like, sell anything. Just hoard it all like idiots. <laughs> For no reason. Yeah, it's kind of weird, though. We only have three chests left, like... So I don't know if we should... Yeah, I don't think that we should bother with these three chests, because it's exactly one chest, one normal chest, one granite chest, and one marble chest. So... We might just want to save this top layer for other stuff. I think we have enough chests. I don't think it'll be that big a problem. Yeah. There's 48 chests in this room right now. So, because it's 16, 16, 60, yes. No, 64, sorry. 64 chests. That's an ex- What? Oh, what, you want me to help with this? <laughs> Wood placement shit? Yeah, that's what I thought. Too lazy to do it yourself. Hold on, this is- Okay, I need to put a torch here. I cannot. Tolerate light levels being different. Actually, I need to put torches here. And here. Consistency, it matters. Here, I'll start at the bottom. That'll be better. You work at the top and I work at the bottom. We'll meet in the middle. Hey, I mean, if anything, you should be happy. I'm on bottom here, so... Being on top is, like, the better one. I think. I don't know. Actually, I don't really know which one's more work. I think on top is more work. So it might actually be more realistic than I be on bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's a sex joke. But, like, when you're talking about sex, I think on bottom is less work, so it might actually make more sense. I'm the... You don't understand, I'm lazy, so... Oh yeah, you can't break it because the chests are there. You can break the chests, it's not... a problem, but... Are you gonna make the, uh, shaft down here also gonna stay wood, or... We're just gonna have that open there. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to break some torches anyway, because of the walls in here. Have the torches on them. Oh, just the ceiling. <laughs> well, then that just looks out of place. <laughs> it almost, like, takes away from the value of the room. <laughs> All right, we have we need to have a chest devoted to chests, <laughs> for the sake of Inception. But I don't actually think that's worth doing. 
I'm probably just gonna put the rest of these chests somewhere up on this ground level. That's whatever. No reason to. I, well, no, I won't put them on the ground level. I'll put them somewhere else because on the ground level we need that space for crafting shit, but. We'll put them like that in the chip. All right. First, there are signs in the area, correct? Yeah, I know. I know that, but um, if we're gonna have each layer before a specific thing, it would make sense to have a sign for each level. Wow, okay, you just made that. It's just six wood at a crafting bench, alright. Sure. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was that easy to make. I guess I just never pay attention <laughs> to weird things like that. One, two, three. I guess only two. I don't have enough wood to make four. Whatever, we only need two for now. But... Alright, so. Oh, there's not space for these. Okay, never mind, I don't care that much. You need more space for the sign than that. You need two blocks for the sign. Do that. Right. I think it's two. Uh, it looks like two. Yeah. Can we place? We can. We just fix that. It's fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> A ground level. Oh, you know what we can use? Oh my god, do you... We don't need signs. Go! Go! Raid the gravestones! These are just makeable gravestones. <laughs> I'm legitimately considering just going and make, grabbing the gravestones, because I'm not... No reason to waste. We can actually use the damn gravestones for something. So... I don't know. Well, when you hover over it, it'll tell you, but... Actually, the sign is bad, because the sign you do have to right-click on. That's dumb. The chest, at least, you can hover over. The sign you have to freaking touch it. Yeah. See, but now that looks awkward. The platforms aren't aligned right. Voila. It still looks weird, because... Look at the top bit there, though. Look at the casual top bit at the connection. Just waiting to do. Yeah, yeah alright. Well, that's fine. Uh, I guess statues aren't entirely out of the question, for the fact that we do have more statues we appear to be able to make. I don't remember where you make them, but... I think we can make more. Various. Yeah. Probably. Alright. Because I know that we've been crafting like statues. Or I think you have been. There's some like weird statues that you found that I was, that I thought that you would have just made. Any of the s Yeah, but like, all right. 
Give me these decorative statues. Like, uh, very fun place on the ground. I'm not fitting. Can you not make them? Oh, you could. You can make text statues, but you can't make these statues, it doesn't look like. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Let's see, if I put stone in with the guide... If I wanted to make, like, a sword statue, is that possible? It's not. Um... So here's the things we can make. We can make letter statues. And we can make critter statues if we can be asked to catch them in our bug net and get five of them. And combine them with 50. Yeah, that's just the thing. Yeah, they don't really help. Those are the only ones we can make, though, are letter statues and those ones. Also, music note. Music note you can also make, I guess. Oh, wait, no, there's an armor statue. You can also make that. That can be for armor. So we can make that. I'll just make that now. I actually don't have enough. Do you have- hey, do you have an extra 50 stones? Will you make one for each side? Assuming. Okay, well that's not enough, but... It's whatever. To start, yeah. I'm sure we do. It's like I'm almost considering just going and mining more as opposed to looking through the fucking chests. <laughs> the awfulness that is that. Yeah, right, there's the rest of it. Alright, um... That's 69, ooh, 69 stone. I don't know if I can get any more. Asking a little bit too much of me with that. statue. One, two. Two armor statues. This thing is kind of tall, actually. I did not realize how tall this thing is. Three blocks tall. <laughs> okay. Now, we'll place it, but we'll just need to... <sighs> what layer should be the armor layer? Oh no, we'll need way more than a full thing for armor. You don't understand how much space armor takes up. How many, like, how much space does a chest have in it? Roughly in a chest, you can store one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten armor sets. Which would be an excessive amount for one person, but when you have three to four people, very easy to fill that space up. Just put it at the bottom, the easiest place for it right now. Yeah, make that an extra one block lower. Can you actually just pop that down one for the sake of, like, like down like that so that we can... I know it seems dumb, but the armor statue is three blocks tall, and I want to keep it consistent. Gonna have to do the same thing on this side though, so. Gonna need to come and get that last. Are you actually willing to put an entire layer of Dynasty wood just to make that look somewhat normal? I mean, hey, I, it doesn't. There doesn't need to be an entire layer for armor, but it's literally the only statue we can make right now that's that shows anything. So, yeah, but we wanna we wanna match them. Is the thing. So, yeah. So like, 
let's see here. This eye could represent mob drops. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hermes boot statue. That could represent accessories. I don't care that much, man. If you think I care that much, you're wrong. <laughs> well, what I'm thinking is, um... Some mob drops, and then on the other side... Accessories. Alright, so this is how it's looking right now. We actually might remove one of these armor statues. Uh, just have one bit dedicated to armor. Uh, that's uh, representative of just uh, like mob drops, just any generic mob drop. Just like it's stuff that we need that we can actually represent with statues that we have. What we really need is a sword statue. You already grabbed a potion one, so you can just leave that other extra potion one, I think. Unless you didn't grab a potion one. I mean... But I don't know that we need an entire layer for potions, is the thing. Yeah. That could- well, that could be both, actually. So, what I think is, you know that generic pot statue? I think that can represent both plant and potion because you can make a potion in a pot and you can grow a plant in a pot. I mean, I, mean, I know that's stupid, but it, made, it makes it so that we have a better uh, just straight flat setup, right? It doesn't make it... Oh, all statues are three blocks tall. This is... Ugh. This is gonna ruin everything. I took all the time to make them exactly the right height for chess, but statues are three blocks tall. This is... This is such a problem now. <laughs> uh, it's like such a first world problem, but it's like really obnoxious because I don't... A good way to fix that issue. I don't want to move all these chests to be uh, three block things. It's too much effort. After I've already put them all down. Uh, how can we do? Maybe be on some kind of so I can just skip that. It's not going to look... Great, but... It doesn't look great, but it does the job. To invert them like that. But 
you were taking fall damage? It's not that fall far. Fall. Fall. Fall far. Yeah. But. So, so what do you think about how dumb that looks? It's the only way I can do it, I think. Unfortunately. Because when we have to invert them, there's just no other way to do it, unfortunately. Well, the big thing is I'm just too lazy to move the chests, so we need to f solve this without moving the chests. this you've made this giant fucking crevice now I don't have dynasty wood it's not like I can fill it in the way that I... okay. so like I would need That's the best that we can do, is do like that. And we're gonna need another one. No, we're actually fine. It's just deal. It's only that layer that we'll have to do it on. That layer on both sides is gonna have to look like that. So we need... Not there. Flash. Okay. So first one, two. Fast Did you, uh, patch that all the way down to the bottom one? No, you didn't. Uh, we should probably do that. It looks... looks weird. Yeah, well, first of all, we need to remove that, because that looks bad. And then move it down. Yeah. One more down. And then we need to fill in that one dirt block there. One. Oh, it actually blends really nice with dirt, too, actually. You need to quick, uh, you have the hammer, you need to get rid of that dirt wall there, also. See it in the gap there? Just push the dirt wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks good. This looks like a good room. Oh my god, is that... Wait, that looks so weird. Is it the same level? It just doesn't look like it? Dude, that's like, weird to me. It looks like it's 
slightly off. I know it isn't. It's... I don't know. Maybe. It's weird. But it should be the same level. No reason to believe it isn't. I can dirt that. I have like an enormous amount of dirt. And just leave those dynasty wood bits on the walls out for now, so that we can place things back there as needed. This is, look, this is actually a professional looking room. We look fancy. <laughs> for once we've made a room that actually looks good. <laughs> And it's going to be really disappointing when we need to make this room bigger inevitably and it's going to end up looking bad again. <laughs> it'll, look, it'll look good for a little while. That's what counts. I'm out of dynasty wood. I don't have any of that. Fantastic! That's going to look really bad! <laughs> Fantastic! Okay, what we can do is we can actually fix this for now. You know how we've already got this chunk of wall taken out? Let's just, for now, take out the dynasty wall right here and here. And that should give us... Oh, okay. Now I've got it. That's gonna look bad till we get rid of the third one. No, okay, got rid of one. Looks like a fancy room. I can make these one block. I stole some wood from these little bits here, but I can make that one block less. No, that look. That looks good. This whole side. Yeah, I know that's fine. That was the plan, I think. Eh, just whatever we have uh, that we want to put there. Uh, let's see here. So we have... Until... Let's see here, what other statues do we have? Anything to work with that I think... You have a statue chest somewhere, thank you, sir? Yeah, you have like random statues here. Right. <laughs> I'm half tempted to use like the Reaper or Angel statue to just put the <laughs> to have a chest full of all the bajillion gravestones. <laughs> but that'd be such a waste of space, so it's not. Um... Yeah, I don't really see anything else that's worth using in here. I mean, for now, that helps some. Is there anything that will ever be, like, a good building block-looking statue, you think? Let's look at the wiki, see if there's any statues that I think would be good for building blocks. Pillar statue, maybe. I don't know. It's literally the only one I can even somewhat see. You know what's good about this uh, spark thing? I can AFK and not die. That's the real power behind it. Yeah. 
You know, the dynasty wall in the middle of that actually looks like really odd and jarring almost. Because I keep thinking that that's like the desert background. <laughs> right there. Because the desert background is basically just pure white for some reason. That's it's whatever. It just is a thing. The room is still the best looking thing we've made in Joker. So far. So. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> it's literally like my jump height is so high. That I meet like the specifications of fucking Superman over here. Can jump over skyscrapers in a single bound. Literally, I can. The mountain next to our house, I literally press the space bar and go over the entire thing. <laughs> and now I have slightly higher than you for numerous reasons. Um, I have the air balloon, you do not. I have the boots from the cobbler that increase your jump height. I don't think you have them. Oh, you have those? Yeah, those ones. So, you're missing the balloon. Mine's a little bit higher. Plus, also, I have the, uh, desert sandstorm level thing in the bottom, which is better than the clown in the bottle, but... Uh, queen statue. We'll pick it up. I don't think we'll ever need it, but eh. Actually, Queen Statue is one of the statues that's actually decent, because it does something practically. It doesn't, um, do anything, like, for, like, our storage stuff, but it is a practical one. If you apply, if you apply a signal to it, it will teleport a female NPC to it, which I don't no, if we'd ever need that, it was more of a good feature back when you couldn't uh, set up people's houses to wherever you want them to be. Because uh, it lets you move NPCs. I don't think it's as good now, but it used to be, like, really strong. Because it used to be that you couldn't just say, hey, this is your house now, to the nurse, for instance. So you'd need to use a queen statue to teleport her to where you want her. I have a few mine shafts that I can walk into, though. Um, ba, 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 ba. I don't think I'd see any statues in that mine shaft, so that's that. Who that? What even poisoned you? Oh, okay. I was like, a normal ass cave, what can even poison you? I couldn't even think of anything. <laughs> Well, I mean, usually if you get killed by poison, it's because you're in the under underground jungle. Because <laughs> everything there poisons you. Yeah, corrupt statue, gold chandelier. Take that. Other stuff. We've already got a star statue. I think we need that, but. I got that.
It's actually a good thing I randomly came back at that moment. <laughs> As I came back, I had a salamander spitting at me. Probably gonna die anyway. Then I die. Not a big deal. No biggie smalls. None for me to speak of, that are like... It's funny is that some of the gravestones are almost, like, decently shaped for stuff. It's not entirely out of the question to use one of them. Kind of. As far as I can tell. At least in terms of money. Uh, money is what you seek. It's there for you. Experience. I did like only like a hundred and I got a platinum off it, so. Yeah. Well, it was either 100 or 200, but it was some increment of 100. I know it wasn't any more than two, though. your punishment for daring to enter my lair. My lair of my existence, that is to say. And I'm my personal space. My personal space, my personal space show. Even my skin is my personal space, my personal space. Mm -hmm. so, um... Oh my god, I hate the enemies! Like, there's- I don't know what enemy it is, but one of the enemies from this mo from one of these mods confuses you, and it's- Confuses by far. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that guy, but something else does it too. I will- I-, I keep where else? Yeah, of course. Canidrion? Canidrion, our bloody old pal, Canidrion. Make dinosaurs another way if you get enough amber. Uh, 20 amber, I think, is what you need. You can just make a summoning staff that gives you the T Rexes and Pterodactyls. You can get multiple of them, too. I know. That's what makes it so good. That it's so fair, if anything. It's the perfect description of it, if anything, is fair. Well, no, you don't make the, um... It, the pet summon is still rare. It's, um... 
you just yeah you can make a minion summon which is just a straight upgrade to a pet though <laughs> so you know who's tetrahedron Oh, uh, Kenedrion again? It's Cthulhu's pet seahorse, I don't know. Fuck it. It's as good as explanation as any where to as to where the hell that thing came from. Could have been why why does it come from the desert? I mean, the Desert Scourge, they at least gave some lore as to why it's there. What did they drop? There's a secret, like, futuristic worm, worm war that's going on underground. By the way, that's a tongue twister. Warm... Worm war. I can't even. I, so... I I I can't even say the word war worm too easily though. To be fair, I have to like, cause I always say warm instead of worm worm. It feels so unnatural to say worm. Worm 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 war. I feel like I have a. I feel like I have a speech impediment over here. <laughs> yeah. See, to me, that's, like, perfectly normal, so... It's... You know, I was wrong about this fucker that shoots fireballs at you. It's actually impossible for him to miss. You know why? His projectiles fucking home on to you. Even if you dodge them, they chase you. It's kind of dumb. What's the point of you annoying you? The snoop? I've never actually beaten a snoop. They always despawn. Before I get the chance. So that'll be exciting. Well, the reason why uh, they always despawn is because the second I go to fight them, out of fucking the woodworks, it's like 60 goddamn antlion chargers are like, hey, what's up? Every time. But then he drop a rock. Really, the thing you want off him is a rock one. He didn't drop that, he did nothing for you. Rock horn. Rock horn. The only thing that he, like, it's the only way to get those is off of that fucker. So. At least as far as I'm aware, it's a tremor thing, so maybe I'm wrong. Fuck it. Yeah, but you need multiple to really do anything with them. So, yeah, the downside of that. It's 
accessory to material. Ooh. Ooh. What is this thing? Ooh. That looks cool. I'm I'm very, very ready to be disappointed by this. Or it's gonna be like, hey, you need a key to open that. And I'm like, okay, game. Well, I was prepared to be disappointed, and instead was actually pleasantly surprised. How do you do? How, how, how do you work? What the fuck? Hold on. Oh! What, what is the... That seems so random, I don't know. Okay, sometimes that happens. It's cool. I'm also gonna break this chest. Because it was special. Wait, where did I get musket balls? And why? Was a gun in that chest that I also didn't see? Like, all kinds of weird things in that chest. I couldn't believe it. The most notable thing I got was something called spring shoes. The occasion that I don't know what causes it, but on occasion, when I jump, it makes my jumps like 50 blocks high for inexplicable reasons. <laughs> Maybe. It seems to just do it at random. That's, that's not the way that it works, though. It seems like it has a cooldown period, and then once the cooldown period is up, it just activates again. Yeah, might as well shit, see. Am I getting attacked literally the second I went AFK? I was, but I got- but it got killed, I guess, by touching me. Alright. That's something called a giant shell off it, though. What the fuck? Damn. That's actually a decent accessory. Six defense on that shit. Fancy. Anyway. Uh, spring shoes. Shoes. I don't see any information on it, so that's not very good. Is that for sure what they're called? Spring shoes. Spring steps. Okay. Accessory. No, uh, this is something else. I got a thing called a giant shell with six defense. Uh, these are. But that uh, six defense thing. I think also? Yeah, that's also an accessory. Um, so, what the spring steps say is allows you to do a triple hop super jump, increases fall resistance. It might be. On your third jump, you'll super jump. That might be what it is. Two, three. Yeah, that's what it is. One, two, three. Yep, every three jumps it does it. But it's interesting, because it counts your double jumps as well. 
Yeah. It's fancy. Coolio. The other thing I found in that chest... The other thing I found in that chest I find interesting is called the Ring of Unity. Um, so the way that it works is kind of interesting. Increases damage by one. Increases damage by an additional one for every nearby player that also has this equipped. So... The question is, how many players would need to wear this to make it a good accessory? Yeah, that's the big thing. <laughs> Imagine if you got that in a single player world. It's not even good. Unless you have like... You would need just a crazy amount of people. Minimum of 10 to even have any chance of being worthwhile. Uh, no, that's not material, so you can't even upgrade it somehow. Um, Alright, uh, how close am I to the bottom of the map? I should be almost approaching. Okay, I should be... should be approaching hell, so I'm just gonna see if I can get down there. Because I'm already here anyway, might as well see. If I can get down there. See if there's any free shit that I can nab in hell, you know how it is. And I gotta take it. Gotta nab it before you get the chance. Pretty normal shit. Hey! Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen once I started taunting you. What is that thing? Oh, it's Colossus Sword. Eh. We don't need that. Oh, there's... There's a schnook. Uh, can I reach him with this? I can. Hey, that's a lot of harm. It's like... I don't have inventory space for that shit. But I can help you mine that. Right now. Magma stone. So good shit. What is that? Unminable. So, I mean. Fucking god damn! What on earth was that? Okay, I have discovered how much Renew screws you. It makes you take five times damage. That's insane. So, Fire was dealing one damage to me. I used Renew. It dealt five damage to me instead. like maybe hell's not appropriate quite yet, but you never know. Yeah. Ah, the giant shell is actually one of the things you in that. Gotcha.
see how much money you get off that no that nonsense. else I did during that expedition of that. The only other thing I can think of during that same time window was I also killed the Slime King, but I highly doubt the Slime King gave me a platinum or the gold. I would be more inclined to believe that the uh, fossils are that unfair than that the Slime King gave me any amount of good gold. You know what it is? Yeah. Come to think of it, that is how that works. There is a very small chance when using the extractinator. Let's see what the odds of that happening are, actually. <laughs> to get a platinum coin. Oh my. That is actually less common than the Amber Mosquito. <laughs> I was more likely to get the Dinosaur Pet than to get the one Platinum Coin. The Platinum Coin odds are 1 in 7,974. So I hit that chance. That is just good shit. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Alright, well that was that's how I got so much money so fast, people. I got stupid luck. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, I think I used all mine. No, I didn't make fossil gear. I think I already used all the sturdy fossils on something. I don't remember what it was, but there was something I was- There was something I was making. I don't remember what. That required... sturdy fossils. Oh yeah, I remember, okay. I remember what the sturdy fossil thing was. I, uh, it sounds really dumb, but the sitar required, like, 12 sturdy fossils for some reason. So, that's where I used it, was on the sitar. Jeffrey, top floor. He moved in upstairs. Hmm. I actually like these spring steps. They're fancy. Because I let you do that. See, if this weren't a uh, large world, I'd actually be able to jump from the top of our house up to a sky island, probably, <laughs> with my current jump height. Even on a medium, I think I'd be able to do it, but on a large, I don't think. Because they had an extra, like, couple hundred in the large. Can you even make the Pharaoh Blade yet? Hmm.
I mean, to be fair, you can, um... With the fossil armor... Like, because there's so many extra throwing weapons, fossil armor is actually kind of viable here. So... I think so, but maybe somewhere around. Um... Oh yeah. That's a fine. Just wanna try that. See if I can make this stupid thing. Yeah, once she starts going, she doesn't stop, at least as far as I saw, but maybe she won't do the same for you. Mm -mm. I'm actually not sure that that is in fact a dude though. I'm actually like 50-50 on that. Um... I'll have you going and farming mandibles when in reality we just have mandibles, like tons of them scattered around our house. Yeah, I know, but I was just looking through chests and we have like over 50 of them just strewn about. <laughs> it's actually kind of absurd how many we have for no apparent, apparent reason. You left your cell phone somewhere. Alright, Ross. Just because I feel like doing it. I just need 15 sand and then. And... Nah, not the sand gun. It's technically, you know, taboo to fight a boss when they're not around, but I feel like we should probably make some progress. So. Uh, it would be the Rook. The Rook. It's a, it's um, a, I guess somewhat of a pun on rock, as in like the legendary bird rock. That's what they claim anyway, so it's supposed to be a pun on that. Uh, in terms of fighting, from what I read, it should fight exactly the same as the Grand Thunderbird, but like higher health and more damage. I cannot confirm nor deny this, however, because I have never fought it. So, this will be a blind fight for me. Alright, Rook, just use the thing, alright. Doesn't need to even be daytime, but I'd rather wait that day. Hmm. Yeah. I try with, uh, mods to make sure, like, I haven't, I only did a little bit of, um, playing Terraria in my own time, 
to see like what the difficulty scaling would be like. I don't think I'm gonna be like going into these boss fights with too much more information from now on. But who knows? I might get a wild hair and do a the occasional boss fight. But my multiplayer character is way better than my single player character at this point, so even if I did that, I'd have to grind up to the point where my multiplayer character is. Just for the sake of. I mean, technically, it won't be. It doesn't have to become obsolete, but. It's probably good enough damage. Well. It's probably good enough damage that until hard mode, we'll be able to use it. Yeah. But I mean, there's other ranged swords that exist. It's just that it, that it probably won't shoot through walls, and it probably won't be as big a projectile either. That'll be a bit. Welcome to another solar eclipse item. The scythe is, uh, known for being incredibly OP. <laughs> yeah. You would not be the first to notice how overpowered that shit is. Love this. Just this scene of the die trader getting attacked, doing nothing about it. Other NPCs kill the enemy <laughs> for him. There you go, die trader. Got the last hit in. Good for you. Kill stealing. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he waited until. He was almost dead to finally hit the damn thing. It was stupid. It was, uh, you know one of those, like, weird hooded fuckers in a, uh, with a bow? One of those guys was attacking him. Yeah, it's nighttime right now. It's actually it's somewhere. I think once a daytime strikes. Just do Rook for the fact that I want to get it out of the way, mostly because of the NPC that spawns after you beat the Rook. Uh, gives you the mount, and just any mount is good. It doesn't matter. Having a mount is worth. Uh, all I remember is that it is a sugar cube. <laughs> sugar cube. Know what it summons? I don't remember. Just remember that it is in fact a sugar cube. Maybe in merchant fossil sugar. That's what it's called. Uh, if eater e AOC, what the fuck is eater of C? It's not. What is an EOC? Hold on. I have Cthulhu. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I never see that. Okay. So fossil sugar. Ah, antlion mount. <laughs> That's what it is. Antlion mount. I'm content with that. You'll have your very own fappy mount. Even better. No. Antlions don't fly, Ross. They don't. Okay, well, even if it could fly, not with you on its back. Fossil sugar. See, fossil sugar is about something that was sold by the Arabian merchant for three gold. That's really fucking cheap. Um, 
Summons an antlion mount with a top speed of 61 miles per hour. It's also four blocks high. Why is that a note that they felt? Is it actually four blocks high? Or am I four blocks high when I'm riding it? I better be four blocks high when I'm riding it, because I swear to god, if the antlion itself is four blocks tall, and then I'm on top of it, that's gonna be a problem. Well, all mounts are four blocks high when you're riding them. That makes sense. Because it's your three blocks combined with whatever their height is. But if it's four blocks high on its own, that's significantly big. I mean, you shouldn't bother trying to phone the police normally, because the police generally don't do anything. You know, back before Donald Trump was a me. <laughs> See your precious little baby thump again. Bring a million smackies and unmarked bills to 22 Elm Street. P.S. We mean it, and we're very big criminals. Just ask around. Love, Bob and Mike. Dear Ronald Thump, P.S. We're very big criminals. If you need to say that. You're not a very big criminal. Yeah. Alright, Ross. Uh, you ready to destroy a big bird? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know. Just thought I need to keep reminding you so that you know. You can get ready. I mean, I can just keep an open inventory space open to get... Because, I mean, in expert mode, it's actually really easy. Because all the things... You only actually need one inventory slot, technically, because all it drops is the treasure bag, and then the treasure bag gives you the extra stuff later.
No, I do not. Yes, I only got 12 and I used them all. Correct. Fancy fun times. Yeah. No, you won't. Hold on, Zebra. Let me just um quickly build a house or two. You know. Alright, Zuper, it's fine. I'll get right to ya in a second after I, um, erect a giant wall. I need to erect a giant wall between us and, uh, that snow biome over there. Okay, I need to summon my Korok and my... Uber, so. What's this special present you got me? Yay, life crystal! Yay! Alright. Alright, well, hold on. Healing pots. I'm actually gonna upgrade some of my healing pots. I have to do this. I'm now taking the main one. It takes, yeah, whatever I was gonna say, because I can't speak right now. Suck ass. Alright. Quickly turn some of these into bigger health potions. I don't even really need like maybe five total. That'll be good. I'm good. We have any like I don't know where our potions would be though. Plus iron skin probably doesn't even mean anything. Mm, I don't think it's that big. And before, somehow, this is like the hardest fucking fight ever. Just didn't see it coming. You'll never see it. Okay. Um. I guess we don't- it doesn't even say we need to fight it in the desert, but I guess it just feels right. I don't know. Alright. You ready to get rooked? Funny joke. I've actually got my fortifying one, too. I don't want to use all my mana, though, because I actually use magic weapons for attacking. Anyway. Whoa! The Rook. What the fuck is that noise? Alright, that was feathers. Jesus. It really does hurt. Damn. What the fuck is that? Damn! Okay. So, here's the thing. That is perhaps kind of strong. Um... So... It's... quite possible that the boss checklist might have an error, and that is not the next boss we should be fighting. I've 
not sure. I don't know these bosses. I can't tell you. The... Okay. So, here's the thing. Technically, to do the Rook, we'd be skipping over Crabulon. The only reason I didn't talk about Crabulon is the fact that the only mushroom biome I know is filled with lava, and I really don't want to fight Crabulon in such a space. I guess we could. Can I... Do I have enough? I do. I can just make the summoning item for him. If you want to try to beat Crabulon. Oh. Might be. Might be harder. Alright. Decapodia Sprout. Here's the thing about... Okay. So, I'll tell you right now. I have fought Crabulon before. I can tell you from experience what he's like. You see, Crabulon, you know how in hard mode you have those mushroom enemies that spray spores all over the place? He's a giant one of those. Well, he's crab-shaped. <laughs> I don't know. But what's funny is that his expert mode drop is... Uh, it makes it so that Crabulon can't hurt you. Like, if you wear his x mode drop, Crabulon literally cannot hurt you. You can't hurt him either. It's to balance it, but... If you wear the accessory, Crabulon becomes passive to you. It's kind of funny. Because it means that, like, if you have one of those, you could give that to somebody who's, like, your support, like, healer person, and literally, Crabulon could not touch them. So... It also does other things, it just- that's just one of its features. In fact, I think that that's just a- it might be a straight upgrade to the spark thing. Because they can also release the spores when you get hit. Let me see... Treasure bag... Treasure bag on the Calamity. Okay. Because I know it's a Calamity boss. Alright. Fungal Clump. That's what you call. Come on. You can do it, page. Load. It's 12 hours later. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume I'm right about that and not bother with waiting for that page to load. Alright. So... Your choices here are either follow me down to said area, or wait until I get down there and wormhole down. Just... I don't know if that'll make it that much easier, but... To be fair, the way I get down there is snaky and stupid. <laughs> Cause that's how I dig my caves, like a frickin' Well, you know my cave, you can find it. You know. You're gonna totally just end up ruining my cave layout, and then I'm gonna get lost in my cave. <laughs> See, it's like I know the maze-like crap that I dig in my caves very well. When I make a maze in my caves, I know it like the back of my hand. This... <laughs> ah, well, I mean... This thing is right next to hell, so... You need... More dynamite than you could throw. <laughs> eh, maybe you could afford it, actually. But, you'd need a lot of dynamite to get down there. Uh... Where even would it be? Oh my god, man. I can't even imagine the hassle that that would be, to be honest. Like, looking at where it is on the map. <sighs> Uh, 
Oh man, I left that? Oh. I feel so bad about the item that clogs up your inventory. It's literally like... Uh, flute is cool, but I'm kind of past that at this point. Flute is cool because it's homing without... Uh, like it's just a homing weapon on its own. You don't even need like the accessory. It's a low damage, so it's a problem. Getting them, it just it just wants to make it up to us, right? Oh, the other the other big uh, colossal issue I would add uh, to that, not just big but colossal issue, is that um this oh wait nymph hold on I'm fighting a nymph right now I don't know where the hell she came from but freaking kill her sure yeah she's dead. Yeah, I got a metal detector. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Ah, in theory. Uh, but the other reason why this mushroom biome sucks ass is it's right underneath a marble biome, which means that you know those assholes, the Chuck Spears? They spawn in here. I fucking hate those things. Ugh. God damn it, another one. Ugh. Another one. But actually, two. As far as even giving me two of them. Man. Complained about one, but two? Hmm, I don't know about that. I just love the sheer random coincidence. Oh, hey, there's a nymph. No, we can get Aerolite. I've mined many blocks of Aerolite. We can absolutely get Aerolite. Yeah, I know about Aero Slimes. I've seen them. You cannot impress me with such things. I am holier than thou. What? Eh, various things. Um, it's like the ore of the Sky Islands, which is kind of weird because it's found underground. <laughs> Someone with a sense of humor obviously placed that, that ore there. It's like, yeah, this makes sense. So if I were to put down torches, you think it would stop the hoplites from spawning? Uh, it's a rare enemy. Drops gold. Not gold coins, gold. Gold. Gold bars. Shit, like that.
You, you'd know him if you saw him. He's very flashy. Already got him. No, he said he gave you a lot. He gives you something. Yeah, that's really what he does. He can also back for metals. Anything. Is that? Okay, that... I... I just witnessed a bag of copper coins come to life and run away from me. I... Okay, I was fine with the fact that there was a bag of copper coins. I was like, oh cool, they added to like a way for like copper coins like stack up. N nice and neatly. And then I see the thing hop away from me. And then that just deeply confuses me. Oh, I'm already down here. I've been down here a while. Yeah, I know you would. You don't know my caves like I do. I literally, like, dig a frickin' maze when I dig a cave, so, I mean, I wouldn't expect you to be able to make it down here with menses. That's not how I function. That's silly. Why would I make things convenient for those who wish to raid my lair? I do not I do not tolerate dungeon raids in my catacombs. For tre that's treasure for later. Don't steal my treasure. <laughs> Stay out, interloper. <laughs> Preference would be that we do this relatively soon, though, because it is gonna be 6.15. Dude, I'm still... Dude, you are freaking 700 blocks above me. You are not... Let's see how close you are. It's kind of close. Yeah, you fall down that, then through the marble biome, then that marble biome is the marble biome above the mushroom area where I am. There's another mushroom biome area in there, but that one is even worse, because it is 100% lava. <laughs> so, that would be it. Just use a wormhole potion. Actually, we could probably... We don't even necessarily need to... Um, uh, get rid of all this lava. Because we just seal it up, it looks like. There's a big 
the biggest bit of lava is just this big ass pit here. If we just seal that, I mean. Okay, well, you can use that to get lava, but. Wow, okay. That was fancy. Anyway, the goal here is to seal it off so that we don't fall in. I have an additional eight. If you want to just pick those up, so I'm just stacked. Um, what? I don't know. Uh, do buckets? I, I guess. All right. So here's the thing. When do we summon this guy? You know, just be prepared for fun. Those don't hurt us. A hoplite, though. I'm glad that we have a hoplite. Hey, there he is. Hitting you for a fuck ton of damage. I hate those things. Are you wearing the fossil armor? Okay, just curious. Because if you, if you had been, because these, uh, yeah, I've already gotten 156 of these javelins. All right. Uh... Hey, there's wood there. Kind of. Yeah. Eladon. Now we can get him in a bit. He's not... It's not like he... You know, he's gonna disappear that quick. It takes him a good 15 to 1 minutes. Go on. I don't know how much wood you need for a campfire, though. <laughs> it is... torches on the background in this area. Yeah, I know, but like, if I could have, that'd be convenient. We've got over this. He's nothing too scary. A lot more intimidating looking than he really is. If you think he's gonna fit in that tiny fucking hole, you are wrong. I'm not sure that it's advisable if your plan is to knock him into that lava pit. That is the big flaw with the, um, here. Just temporarily, I'm sealing off the connection to that stupid marble biome above. Because that's where all they're all dropping down from. Temporarily sealed off. I didn't even know that guy could move. I actually thought that he was stationary. <laughs> yeah. I literally didn't even know that Schnoot could move. I don't know what you're doing. That's not making this any easier, realistically. Because now we got a big ass pit that we can fall in and get stuck inside of. I don't. Why would we need to move the lava down below? Or he doesn't destroy blocks. Yes. Uh. Flying enemies will still fly down upon us, but I don't think 
melee enemies should drop down from the sky anymore. Uh, maybe one like right here. Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't... He stays mostly still. It's us that would be kiting, if anything, not him. This cave, man, this cave is a nymph. It's a nymph breeding ground. Who would have thunk it? It's pretty lucky. All right. Um. What? What thing? Oh yeah, look at that. Fancy. You can catch it with a grub net. It died. It's dead. You can't hover over it, so... Freaking bats. Alright. Are we ready to just fight this guy? It'll be fine. Alright. Spawns right on top of you, which is such an asshole thing for them to do. I mean, those spores do hurt when they hit you. But you can just avoid that. Well, what's fun is that you can actually stand inside of them and abuse the sparks. I think I'll be fine. Maybe? No! Fucking windows! Oh, is he dead? <laughs> Look, as long as we get down there before enough items spawn, the treasure bag will still be there. <laughs> That was just unfortunate, if anything. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking insane. Right before he died, he spawned, like, the most amount of those spores I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, this... It was like... If, I, if I'm going down, I'm taking you down with me. And he spawned... And he spawned every frickin' spore he possibly could. By the way, this icy water is the most cancerous thing in the world in this ice biome. If you ever touch it, my god, it's 10 seconds of slow. And it's, not, and it's such a restrictive slow that it makes you, like, 10% your normal speed. <laughs> Ugh. The, the speed, what happened to me a second ago, I don't know if it was that or something else, but I got a really harsh slow there for a second. I think you walked past the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the hole as we speak right now, and you're above me, so that means you walked past it. Yeah, just fall down in. That's what you do with the hole. Just fall in. See, a lot of my caving involves falling. Try not to kill too many things, because you'll, uh, you could potentially be spawn the treasure bag in spawning other items. 
It's not too rare despawning works as it's based on the number of items on the board, on the map. So, you know, just try to walk past things and leave them alone if you can avoid it. Why you hold a torch? You have torch, right? Torch will actually do just as much good light source. Hey, you're almost caught up with me. I'll hang out here for a second. So you can follow me and not get lost. Can you just toss that to me at this point? Like. Do you have your book? I've got my fortifying wand so I can come and try that. Now. Alright, just just let me get down there and then. Down this way, and then hop on the rails. Hold the torch in your hand. Makes it a lot easier. And then stop right here. You went too far. Stop here. Fall down. The like sheer amount of stupidity that is my gaze. I introduce you. How did you oh no, fall damage re prevention, correct. Yeah, don't design my case, be friendly to that. <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of an asshole with my design of my case. We've, we've determined this today, is that uh, my case is designed like an asshole would design a case. All right, we have a treasure bag. Um, what's, okay, and then important lore, important lore, listen, be prepared. Right here, where I'm standing. Right here, this spot. You weren't alive when he died, so you probably didn't get one. Uh, that makes, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Crab you on. A crab and its mushroom. A love story. It's interesting how creatures can adapt given certain circumstances. That's all it says. Alright. Well, that's a useless fucking item. Uh, quickly pops. Oh, is that my uh, So I have space for fun stuff. Yeah. He, he totally just had, like, everything that we needed. Hopefully, latches on to enemies and steals life for you. Hmm. Fun. What is this fungus side? Does it use ammo, or what are we talking here? It apparently uses some type of ammo. Uh, is that a gun? Is it... Looks like a gun. Alright, how does this fungal clump work? Ooh. Fancy smancy. Because you're one of those guys. Oh, that's actually pretty gnarly. Oh, you got a uh, fungicide too? Kinda lame. Yeah, I didn't get bullets. I didn't get bullets either. Uh, you can... No. Not on me.
Yeah, that is insanely fast. Accurate. It might be too fast, actually. Why is it that fast? It's... You're literally, like, creating a goddamn montage over there. <laughs> okay, this fungal clump is actually kind of beastly. I like it. So, it's basically a Metroid that goes and steals health for you. Which is fun. Yeah. You put him in your, um, thing. Your, uh, accessory slot. Yeah, it's a free minion. Yeah. In your accessory slot. Also has the passive benefit of having Krabby One not fight you. If you have. 